Bienvenidos, buenos dias. Hello, everyone. It is Thursday. Welcome to Collider Live, now known as Jarena Live. I'm joking. Oh, oh, oh. How's it going, everyone? We Good. got John Roca. We Hello. got Mark Riley. Hi. Christian Look Harlock, nowhere to be found. He's uh, taking a call. Is taking he? Taking a call, apparently. It's probably yeah. not that important. Yeah, sure. he'll be in in a sec. How are you guys doing? Good. I love that you're starting. Yeah. Happy uh, 150 episodes, you guys. Insane. Yeah. We've done it. Isn't that crazy? It's pretty amazing that 150 of these, uh-huh. and we don't celebrate a single one when I it's know. like a big number. But that's mm. the show. Yeah. The show is ridiculous that why way. Do we need that's to celebrate? why I'm on it. Because tomorrow is going to be 151. That's right. true. And then on Monday, yeah, 152. Wow. You know what happens on uh, Tuesday? You're doing dad jokes again, Riley. <laughs> I'm, I'm preparing myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, pre- I'm hosting this show right now <laughs> until Christian comes back. Oh, sorry, yes. And no let's, puns are allowed. Let's call. Let's then. Let's talk about leathery dark wings yes, that come out of I the back weather- of, of mistresses I'm, of dark. I, I am wearing leather pants. Can you see them? Can I sorry about the that? puppy scratching them. Speaking of black wings, have you guys started Good Omens yet on Amazon? No, no I really want to see it. Neil Gaiman was it great? I started last night. <sighs> Lo- uh, uh, my girlfriend out after 20 minutes, but me in for the whole ride. Yeah, uh, and I was. Loving the banter between uh, Michael Sheen and uh, um, John Hamm. No, the other guy. Oh, David, David Tennant. Tennant. Sorry, David Tennant. Yeah, David Tennant, yes. former Doctor Who. Uh, yes. Great band and a lot of also great in Jessica Jones. Yes, and the remake of Fright Night. If you guys haven't seen it, yeah. Oh yeah, he's good. In Fright <sighs> he's Night. He's really and good. The Fright Night remake, fantastic. So good. It's you quietly guys. one of the best kind of horror remakes that they've ever done. Because it's one of the best different up there. than the original. Yep. Yeah. That, that's what they need to different do when they're enough. doing these reboots. Exactly. Different enough where yeah. you feel good about it. Mm-hmm. Where you're like, wait, no, this can exist. I like this. Yes. Uh, Colin Farrell, come on. Uh, yes. Was and it? I mean, granted, Chris Sarandon is oh, know, yeah. the best vampire He's that's ever lived, needs. but other I than l- Dracula. I love the original. Was, Still. Was, this the, was that the last gasp of McLovin? Uh, maybe. Right? We haven't really seen... Well, and I mean, I saw him in that movie. I don't know if he's right. been in other movies. Probably. I don't think he's been in anything of note. Probably. Right. I don't know. Seth Rogen but... just tweeted out the other day, happy birthday, McLovin, showed the, the, oh, the ID, because yeah. in the ID, it was I don't even... that day. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to know when Superbad was made, dude. That oh. was so long ago. It only makes me feel good. And it doesn't make me feel good. It makes me feel old. Oh, is it? But anyways, so what are we talking about today, Mark? Well, there's a sheet in front of you if you want to pull yeah, but, it up. Yeah, but the, but the, the font is really small, so I can't read oh, it. My well, God. there's a lot, Darina, that we can go into. Uh, you know, the main topic that we will get to, DC. Okay, first of all, I know we don't talk about movie news till later, right. but can I just say how awesome that Wonder Woman poster is? Oh, I yeah. Know. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, DC, whatever you, you guys want to talk crap about their movies, I like some of them a lot. They are so good at posters. Mm-hmm. They're marketing. Yeah. They're be- they make beautiful posters. Yeah. I'm very happy about it. I love the poster. Um, that should that should you know tide the fans over uh, since they're not going to Comic Con. I know. So. Yeah. yeah, it has the shades of Kingdom Come. Look the armor it. does. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's like uh, Metropolis meets Flash Gordon. And if you notice, the colors in the background make a, a W. It's got a little bit <laughs> good of good job, Mark. Don't this good is job. why you work here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't the leggings look a little like Aquaman type leggings? Yeah. Like the, the kind of vibe? So I wonder how that's working through. Yeah. No, it's, I think it's pretty badass. She's rocking She's it. She's awesome. She's so hot. Yeah. Uh, this overwhelmingly went over so well I know. on the internet. Yeah, because it's so good. Yeah. Uh, I know that that's nice when that happens because that rarely happens. Speaking of the internet, Christian's not back yet, but we were on Red Letter Media. Yeah. And I am a fan of those guys. I know not everyone is, but I was very happy to be parodied on it. You're... <laughs> You're the only person I know that would get excited. Because I've been watching those guys for a while I know, now. Yeah, I got into them with their Phantom Menace review. Yeah. I mean, I, well, I love their Phantom Menace. No, it was a Mr. Plinkett one back Mr. in the day. Plinkett, it wasn't yeah. Red Letter Media. But right? they became that. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I, like Nathan's the one that showed me the ones the par- the prequel parodies and there's of the Star Wars prequels, and it was so good. Yeah, they were so, good. So, anyways. Speaking of Nathan, he is booked. For next week. Yeah, Nathan Hamill. Yeah, yeah. Nathan you Hamill. Is he, gonna is he keep, listening right now? He gonna, Probably. He, he's probably going to get nervous. He's going to be talking like, those lies about. Well, young no, he said after, he said after Red Letter Media, he's canceling his appearance. No, he, um, he yeah, was kidding. Right. <laughs> we're we're putting him on. Yeah, he was. Uh, he just did want to make you know a big thing out of it. And I said, why don't you just go in the booth? Yeah. And you can just scream. We won't even give you a microphone. No, he wants you in here with Christian and me. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, he course. specifically asks. He's like, Mark Riley, better I'll be sit there. next to me. I'll sit next to him. Yes. Yeah. No, here. Yeah, I room. know. Yeah. Yeah, all that. Okay, good. I'll do it. Or you can sit on his lap. <sighs> Pass. <laughs> It's okay. You know what else we're going to talk about? What Arena? are we going to talk about, Mark? Um, well, Swamp Thing was canceled. Yeah. I am actually very sad about that because... Didn't even get a chance to see it. I know. But I heard it was so good. I heard. I mean, I heard. The, the trailer looked great. I heard it's like trailer all was horror, phenomenal. awesome stuff. Body what? horror, Swamp Thing creatures coming out of the muck. Uh, you know, people getting, I don't know, Swamp thing against a yeah, wall yeah. and looking like alien. And it yeah. had all the things that I like. But you know what? I heard that there was an issue with the budget. I don't think it was because mm-hmm. it wasn't well received. Well, there were some creative difficulties apparently behind the scenes. The creative differences was in the article that THR wrote. So you saw that. But also what you mentioned before we got on air, this $40 million tax credit that was right. supposed to come through that did not come through. So Ooh. my question now is, are they going to show the first season in its entirety knowing that they've canceled it? Have they finished the first season, done – Pre, uh, done a post production on all the episodes. Are they going? Are they going to release the entire thing? Because I got a couple of friends who are on later episodes doing a couple, of, really? doing two or three episode arcs. So I'm a little, oh uh, yeah, because they all work in the south. So they got on to the show. So I'm a little upset that it got canceled because I was looking forward to seeing them on the show. So I want to see if well, it happens. Yeah. I don't. Know. Damn it! The good stuff always gets canceled. It makes me sad. Yeah. Like, can you guys think of shows that you love that were canceled after like a, f- a one, like just a few episodes? Pushing Daisy. Oh, yes, that show was awesome. Brian Pushing Fuller, yep. great there, showrunner. There was a bunch of episodes, and then we got a movie, but I think it was canceled way too soon. Firefly. Yeah, oh, yeah. love yeah. Firefly. I mean, there's yeah. that was the, probably the first the the petition that started it all. Yeah, <laughs> back in the day. I I think that petition is still going. Yeah, yeah. it will forever go until we get more episodes. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, mine are comedies. I used to love mm. Better Off Ted, which mm-hmm. was by the same people as Arrested, that did Arrested Development, I believe. Oh, um, I never got into that. Was that Better Off Dead based on the movie? No, no, no. Better no. Off Ted. Oh, Ted. Yeah, yeah Sorry. with uh, Portia yes. de Rossi and really good show, really funny. And then gotcha. uh, Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment Twenty Three. <laughs> <laughs> with Kristen Ritter. Oh, that yeah. That was also yeah. really funny. Yeah. Pushing Daisies? Yes. Pushing. She just brought I, it I up. Just this is my thing that I'm John doing Roca now. John Roca is sitting next to you. No, this is my thing now. He works at Collider. Yeah. I, I did this on the afternoons. I was on uh, Shameless Plug here. Yeah. Going to be on the upcoming afternoons with Josh and Ken. Really? Wow. And oh, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Cody. That's my favorite sound Huge bike. fan of that show. So I was like kind of geeking out, mm-hmm. even though I know the guys. Um, uh, yeah, no, Ken said something that I said exactly the same thing. There is something going on. I think it's, I have, uh, zero sleep up here because of Mm -hmm, the puppy still mm -hmm. puppies eating walls and and moldings. And, and I, that's why I brought her in. I'm like, I can't afford to keep the puppy in the apartment anymore because she will eat it down. It like, she's about to like eat the, the the things that are going to keep the apartment up. Right. (laughs) And so, and it's going to come crashing down on us and no sleep. So yeah. Ooh, what was that? Yeah. I missed it. Are you guys yeah. watching porn without me? No. 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 Oh, I thought it was uh, the live feed, but it's yeah. not. Oh, no, okay. it's not the live feed. Um, yeah, so sorry, Roka. No yeah. worries. Pushing daisies. Good yeah. call. Yeah. Yeah. Good call, my friend. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on Liverpool. Not that you did anything except yell oh, a I lot. don't know. Cheer for them for 20 years? <laughs> yeah. I've done a lot. Damn, that's a long time. I spent a lot of hours cheering for that team, so oh, to no. see them finally become the are, champions of Europe, I was very happy. Are no, people I... asking for your fan card and how, how long you've been <laughs> a fan? Sometimes people do. They go, like well, Dorina? Well, someone was like, well, now that you're a soccer fan, maybe you can get into the old firm der- derby of Celtic and Rangers. I'm like, now that I'm a soccer fan? Been a soccer fan since I birth. Know. That's well, a Latino. That's, exactly. that's like baseball for Americans. Exactly. Yeah. But also, I mean, you've been a fan for 20 years, so yeah. you should get invited to their theme park. Uh-huh. Hey-o. Oh. Hey-o. Where is Christian, speaking I don't know. Of, I don't okay. know. I'm just waiting for the text. Should he just all the leave? I think gun. he left you guys. I am the new host. Are you guys happy about that? Everyone in the comments is like, this is bullshit. Let's calm down on this new host stuff. I'm okay, kidding. we're gonna let's have a meeting first. Let's ask, <laughs> let's sit down with <laughs> Mark's, like, Mark's like already right. like, Dorina, I posted <laughs> yeah. and you haven't. <laughs> so clearly no I am the, the new host. The last thing I want to do is host. <laughs> no, same. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, the, I'm yeah. okay with some days, but um, not every day. Speaking of, uh, you know, mistresses of dark and death and, and everything, scary stories to tell in the dark. Yes. Did you see the new trailer? No, because if I don't have to see the new trailer, I don't want to, because I already saw the first one. I know. So I'm like Alex, where I don't want to watch it, I want to watch the movie. Okay. What did you think? Loved it. Yeah. Um, it's PG-13. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You know what's rated R, though? What? Joker. Yeah. yeah. I know that. I'm pretty happy about that. Just mm, that's good. Anyways, continue. Um, but, okay, here's the thing. 
it's the scary stories to tell in the dark were uh, based on kids' books. Yeah. Like, it, it, and they're scary as F, yeah. right? Um, so I get if they're going for the PG-13 thing right. to maybe get those young teens yeah. mm-hmm. that are 13 and under, just the 12s and the, maybe the 11s and, the, right, you right. know, to get them in there, a wider box office. Let's see. You don't need a lot of gore. You don't need a lot of, uh, you know, gore, I guess, is, is the only thing. You can you can do shadows. You can do camera angles. You can And already the trailer is looking pretty damn scary, just conjuring to mind do you, do you scary thing. What, what is the biggest difference between a PG-13 and a... Like, what makes it R? Blood. Really? I think just blood and curse, cursing and, and nudity. Sex. Why nudity, though? Because we're still a pure technical society. pretty self-explanatory. So dumb. Yeah. Like Why nudity? Because what's bad about nudity? Why is nudity make it R? Explain that to me. It's a philosophical question, you guys. I can't explain that. I'm not part of the ratings board. There it is. There it is. I don't know nudity, but I know when I see it. Uh, I don't. <laughs> the thing is, yep. I don't know wow, how to define yep, nudity, but I know nudity. when I see it. <laughs> yep. No, but nudity, is um, that's what it is. And it's because we're still a puritanical country, and we think any kind of reveal of the body parts incites sexual awareness and an awakening, which causes irresponsible behavior amongst kids. That's what they claim. It's that's not true, but dumb. it's that what that's what they claim. Europe has been walking around half nude for a majority Naked of billboards, centuries. Appreciating yeah. the but, beautiful know. our beautiful bodies as yeah. an art form. I'm just saying, nothing wrong with boobs or penises, you guys. Hey, or vaginas. Vaginas your, uh, are great. I don't know what's in them. I like Like butts I don't too. know what's in mine. I like butts. Butts are great. Okay, there's a sound bite for the Where's future. Where's my sound bite, Cody? <laughs> Cody, how are you doing? We're laying this I didn't in even today. acknowledge you in this morning. I'm sorry. I was okay, just I didn't know I was gonna host. What a great host you are. That's cool. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you guys doing? Good. Good, uh, really Cody. Do you the, wanna uh, I left the camera on me for like twenty seconds and didn't know. It was really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking perfect. Speaking of Happy nudity. 150 episodes, <laughs> yeah, Cody. You're the best part of the show. I mean, I love you, John and Mark, but Cody's the best part. I'm never going to argue that. Cody is the best part. (laughs) Yes. Hands down. Agreed. Cody's the best person in this office. True. Ooh, that's a good point. Top five. No, no, no. no. Top five. No, no, no. Top one. I'd say top one. No one ever has an issue with Cody. If I No one ever fights with Cody. It's just if I ever was like, hey, I got it. Like sometimes with the clips of these and like sometimes we'll be backlogged and then Riley Roundtable's coming around a rule of two or whatever it is that he's doing. He's just always like, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Man, and I'm like, so agreeable, so good at his job, so yeah, responsible, he's... and hilarious. Yeah. yeah, and he's extremely talented. But a crap bowler, I'll tell hey, you that. You right. Oh, <laughs> ah, shots fired. Right are we going to do collider bowling? Are I'm we gonna in. Do a tournament? I, I want to, yeah. I'll be bad, but I'll play. I challenge Cody, but he's got to use the, the balls from the bowling center. That's fine. He's not allowed to use his you know specially made $475 bowling ball. Are you serious, Cody? Free you have that? That I got from a league. You got played in. Okay. You, you pay every week. It's how the leagues work. That's how professionals play. You were in a bowling league. <laughs> God oh, damn. Dude, I've been in several. Oh, <laughs> wow. I was uh, on a chess league when I was a kid. Oh. Nerd. So, I know. Mm. I didn't go outside. I need to learn how to play chess. It's fun. You, we, you can yo- join our Collider Chess Club. I know. Because every time I walk in to talk to Fernandez, he's playing chess with you or, or Jack or <laughs> Who, somebody who's else. Who's the best? Is it you, Mario? Well, I, I've Jack? only played twice. No, I've only played twice, and oh. I haven't played in forever. I think so. Snyder beat Fernandez. Uh, no surprise. I thought Jack beat Fernandez the other day. Probably. For the first Snyder time. has that kind of thing where he gets in your head, no matter what he's going against you with. F that guy. Not yeah. me. Well, he, did, he wasn't in my head. He got lucky. He's I a get in team Snyder's champion. head. Yeah, he is. It's yeah. fun. You do? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. You like to get in people's heads. Period. I do. Yeah, you, I love it. Yeah, I don't let her in. And bodies. I like to possess oh, okay. people. Right. But see, yeah, <laughs> you're not doing it psychologically. You're doing it with your witch spells. Yeah. All yeah. right. I, I know what you do. do. Yeah. All right. I just like. You what prob- do you think is in this tea? Yeah, cauldron. Yeah, cauldron. Like I have newt. Drinking the tears of I my enemies. I have no tears of your enemies. <laughs> you just appear like. I just picture you like you'll appear. Uh, we'll be in the bedroom trying to sleep, and you'll poof, appear <laughs> with your like wings above the bed. You'll sleep, <laughs> and then. But that's how you sleep because you have issues sleeping. So I help you sleep. Which happened again the other night. No, oh. did you have no, a nightmare? No, I did not walk into anything. Did, did not walk in anything. Okay. But apparently, I had a full conversation with Julie about the dog <laughs> while sleeping. While sleeping, because Julie, t- I, t- she went. Do you remember what you did last night? And I said, Oh shit, what I do? She goes, No, we had a conversation about Leia. And I said, huh? And she went, yeah. Leia rolled over on her back and her legs were in the air and she was doing this, right? 
And Julie's like, oh, my God, do you see that? And apparently I had a full-on conversation with her about it. Wow. And they went to the bathroom and then came back, continued the conversation, and then went to sleep. Wow. Wow. That's very impressive. That's like a superpower that you don't know you have. And also kind of scary. I yeah. wish it was a superpower. It is a problem. I know. Mm. It is but like, you know what? It's probably because you're not sleeping pro- Like you're not sleeping oh, yeah, through I the have, night. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sleeping through the night, and then the, the puppy wakes me up and at 5, stress. 6. That's eh, stress some, somewhat. Mm. Working a lot, a lot of balls in the air, sure. Hello. And not where Hello. you want them. Hey, yeah. yeah. That's rated yeah. R. Yeah. That is rated R. <laughs> All those it balls in the air. It shouldn't be. Balls are beautiful. But when okay. you're in a rated R movie and you say balls in the air, what does that look like? I don't know. Is that like a I just think it's naked weird pers- idioms naked person that you guys on a trampoline? With. Sure. And then just like doom, doom, balls in the air. That kind no. of thing. K- speaking of balls, Julie, you guys, Mark's fiance, she's yeah. so hot. I'm in love with Julie. <laughs> I don't understand how that relates to no, balls. No, because but okay. we we were at Grace's birthday this balls. weekend. <laughs> you guys know Grace. Yeah, I didn't get invited to that birthday. <laughs> you didn't? I don't know how I fell out of favor with Grace. What? Yeah, I don't know how this happened. Oops. Grace and I have been Wait. fantastic friends. What? I never got invited. Julie and I, she's like, who's going to be there? I'm like, well, I, you know, I didn't know who was going to be there. Yeah. And I'm like, well, Roku will be there. He's really good friends with I Grace. I would have totally gone Maybe had I known. she emailed you and you didn't know. No. Aww. No. I think it's because she's part of corruption now, or a part of whatever that is. No. It's against the I honestly, I don't even know. I don't think it was that big. I don't know how many people oh, really? she invited. But. I'm sure if you your presence would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. Is all I saying. love Grace and I love Alicia and their new but, show. But um, I know. Are mm-hmm. we all gonna be guests on it? I I'm hope? trying to be. Yeah, you guys should watch uh, or listen to Alicia and Grace's podcast. Yeah, yeah. it's really because they are both really funny. Girls. They're hysterical. They're great. Um, but yeah, Julie was at that, and I just was talking to her because she's so hot and cool. <laughs> so thank you. Good job, Mark. Is all I'm saying. Well, good job, I try. Mark. Yeah, that was fun watching you guys talk. You guys just when you get when you two get together, I don't know what like sometimes I walked into a conversation. Yeah. Oh, Do that's right. Do you remember right. this? Maybe. <laughs> It's it's a little blurry night. I, I walked in and I was just like, and I wasn't really like joining the conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. but just walked over and be like, okay, they're having a conversation. I'll sit here and wait at the bar to get another drink. Yeah. And then I hear it's just BDSM and I'm sorry. <laughs> what did I walk into? Yeah. Well, that's two Latinas, man. Because we were uh, after that, uh, I was at Bar Sinister, mm. which is a Los Angeles I know you're bar. Ta- yeah, you were talking about a bar that is like a fetish slash goth. It's kind of like walking into that scene in Blade, like the oh, rave yeah. scene, yeah, but yeah. with but without so many people, or the bronze from oh, Buffy. The rave scene. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. What did you start? Think I said? Let's move on. Rave. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. God damn it, John. I heard what you said. <sighs> Thank and you very that's much. the show, that's you the guys. Show. See you tomorrow, Friday. Um, <laughs> no, but you know what's funny about that, too? About five minutes after that, remember that, <coughs> that dude walked over and he, he started talking to us? And Yes, that was so weird. Didn't so, understand. I thought he was hitting on you two. No, no. So what happened is, so we're, we're at Grace's party, and it was you, uh, Julie... And who else? The, just us three. Well, this guy yeah. shows Not up, me. I and wasn't there. and usually when there. usually when people show well, John wasn't invited, but usually when people show up <laughs> to talk to you, you're like, oh, I don't know this stranger, but they seem friendly, so I'm going to be nice to them because it's probably a lot of work for them to come up to someone and start a conversation, right? Sure. Maybe they're waiting for their friends, so let's be nice to this guy. And then he starts talking about how much money he makes. Yeah, oh. and that's when quietly Julie, Mark, and I were like, okay, so how do we exit Ugh. this yeah. circle of people? It was he, so weird. He brought that up, and I and it was. It, it, I know exactly what he's doing. I'm standing with yeah, you two. Right. Come on. And you that, two were looking in the nines. You know, you're like, you know, doing your thing, and I'm we just. We did this. Yeah, I'm just frumpy <laughs> Riley standing there going. <laughs> How do you know he wasn't hitting on you? <laughs> because he. <laughs> Yeah, well, right. I'm just saying he was talking about <laughs> because how much money he was, he because, because, listen, you I, know that You know that makes vaginas listen, white is how I, much money you make. Yeah, I know dudes, okay? And this dude was, he was yeah. scoping on so YouTube. Weird. And he did that thing that I fucking hate with dudes. He did this, like, kind of edge thing. Where he pushed you out? He's trying. Oh, did he do that? He was trying. Hell no. I was, was just trying, trying to leave. So and I all I have to do is just look to my fiance because she doesn't know. Yeah. Me. And she kind of edged him out. And then he looked at me after the money comment He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm a lawyer. And he's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, lawyer. I, <laughs> I don't even know why I said uh, it. I deal in physical assault cases. Yeah, so and then he's like, <laughs> wait. He's like, yeah, I buy movies. And I'm like, yeah, it's so weird. good for you, dude. No, he said, I watch movies and I make like 100000 Yeah, or something like that. But, then but he's like, who, going, that's so weird. Do you know what? So this is what I was thinking. He, makes he was either a douchebag or... 
he was someone that was acting and trying to practice for like a role, oh, like God. audition Can for like imagine? a douchey role. He's like, he, yeah, this Thursday he's at his acting class. He's like, so I went deep yeah. undercover as a producer you know that's, at a bar, yeah. and uh, I really felt the character. Uh, I got to know these uh, these two girls. Uh, I tried to get their numbers, but uh, you know they they left and they're you know with their lawyer. So yeah. uh, that's what was so I tell you that's a, that's what was so unsettling about Barry. They oh. nailed those acting classes to a T, and the self-involved, self-important shit you deal with from a lot of people in those classes. That, yeah, and it was like watching a horror movie. Like, yeah, you know, my, my girlfriend would <laughs> lean over to me every once in a while, go, "Baby, how did you ever do this for fifteen years?" Right, and I go, "I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know." And you're just watching. This and is so my... what you talk about. A guy that's totally believable that yeah. a guy would play a producer at a bar for an acting exercise. Because he's doing method acting yeah. or some bullshit. Ugh. But it's just so weird. So because, glad but about that but shit. self-importance, man, that word is yeah. my favorite because none of us are important. No. <laughs> no. We're all important together, We're but not numbers. separately. Yeah. You're important individually, all together. Sure. You have your things that you're, you're special. We're, and then, but don't take it seriously. No. We're and, all just energy, chaotic energy, fucking, like, Doing right. stupid shit, and trying to trying to survive this weird existence. And in LA, if you're bragging about a hundred thousand dollars, you're doing it all wrong. But yeah, yeah. A hundred thousand dollars ain't crap in LA. <laughs> no. I don't know what he said. I just as soon as he started talking about how much money he made, that's when like my vagina went really dry, <laughs> and I just needed to leave the circle. So rated R, rated Anyways, R. <laughs> so you okay there, Mark? <laughs> the opposite of sploosh. I'm fine. <laughs> the That's opposite just, of sploosh. I just, what would be that noise? What's the noise for dry vagina? <laughs> it sucks you in. <laughs> so weird. God. Anyways, how well, you doing, Cody? This is a show. <laughs> Cody, Cody left. Cody left. I'm doing okay, guys. Trying to. Uh... <laughs> Cody uh, decided. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the camera on Darina and walk out. <laughs> I feel like you should move over to this chair. Yeah, I mean, right. cause he's, he, I, I don't know if he's coming back. When he does, we'll switch back over. Right. It makes more yeah. sense. I know. It? I've been looking. He, he's My OCD is of... kicking in, and I need yeah, you to balance right. the room out. Oh, there he is. Oh. He's coming. There yeah. Is. There he oh, is. Oh. He was waiting for me to say. That was Riley a long phone call, call, dude. Jesus. I bet I've been we texting We finished you. the Christian show. We did all of it. So what you've missed is dry vaginas. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, balls, balls in the, in the air. air. So I've missed nothing. <laughs> yeah. People uh, people Same at stuff. Grace's party, uh, p- this guy walking over and, and basically wanting to hit on Julian Darina yeah. um, and using the I make a lot of money card. Yeah. Which is $100,000. And I said that as soon as he mentioned uh, dollar figure, my vagina went dry that was and it. tried to leave. Yeah. yeah. It Understood. was pretty, pretty gross. <laughs> but anyways, how you doing, Christian? Good, Welcome Christian. to yeah. Yeah, 150 episodes, man. Is it really 150? Yeah. 150. Today. Wow. See, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Yeah. How are you feeling? How's your body? Um, yeah, you're just still in the uh, the antibiotics and stuff too. So it's been like uh, it's been a whirlwind for I sure. Know. And to nobody's surprise, uh, you know, I got my ass kicked. Pretty pretty hard over the over the last week on the internet. Oh, the no. internet is an awful <laughs> place, yeah, man. So, um, but no, look, this is the, this is the thing, and we should definitely we should talk about it. Okay. Um, the the first part of this is you know, and and after the last two days, just kind of sitting back and 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 looking at all of it. Did I go back and, and watch the video? I did. And can it, does, does it come off as uh, a bit embarrassing? It comes out a lot embarrassing. Uh, it's an embarrassing. <laughs> but also a little, a little funny. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's it's embarrassing. Yeah. But, uh, it's, but the thing is, it's embarrassing. And the th- and I posted yesterday in the Facebook group that uh, I had a bad day at work that particular day. You know, yeah. and and it happens. And it, well, yeah, but it also it also it, it caught on and it, and it definitely came out as entitled. And there's no doubt about it because like and some of the people had come and brought up things like we get to go to premieres all the time, we get to do these things, and we get interviews, and, and we do, and they're not wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, I, like I said, there's the only thing that I could say is that um, I'm I'm human and I messed up in that particular circumstance and I know there's different pockets of people too right there's the and and I think all of them all all the pockets have the have the right to express themselves however they want over this situation um ah. no but I do but listen and this is what I'll say the first po- pocket of it, I think is um are those people who say well are you gonna well listen okay you, you said you're wrong don't mess up again and now talk about nonsense and that's mm. and they then they just want us to m- want me to move on um, then there's another part. This is the part that's more kind of, I think, the the embarrassing part for me yesterday, too, is that 
um, then when you see that, because that clip, you know, went everywhere, right? So yeah. if you uh, if you see that clip uh, and it's the first time you ever see me, that's perceptions reality, right? So yeah. I mean, that's what that's what people think right away. They think that that's like the most embarrassing thing I saw yesterday too. And I'm just trying to be open and candid to all you guys. Is the fact yeah. Gary Widow is like a, is like a, I'm, I'm a big fan of Gary Widow. Like he's a he, Rogue One and everything too. That's the first time he ever really saw. It. And he he was going back and forth with a writer Rebels, and they were you know taking the, the like. Look how ridiculous this video is, and they're not wrong. Mm. Um, they're not wrong, but they're not wrong. Look, look, look. But, but, but the, because here's the thing, and I, I, and I got your text yesterday, and I respect the, and I, and I appreciate the fact yeah. that you were kind of, you know, st standing up for me in the fact. But, but the thing is, I looked at it on the other side of things, and I said, if we were on the other side and we just saw some random dude yelling about how he wasn't able to go to Galaxy's Edge. I'm like, what's wrong with this fucking idiot? Mm. You know, and I get it. And I understand, you know, and, and, and then... And We're then all the, guilty of it, We right? are. But right. the new pocket, and there's another pocket that mm -hmm. people, and you got to understand this, in this business, when you are here, you're going to have people who just don't like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there are people from whatever it might be, whatever things, that either hate my guts, don't like me, and, and they use that video yeah. to either make content, mm -hmm. and, and they have the right to do that. They have the right to do that. That's what the internet is. And it's some not... people just do it for clickbait purposes. Some people are like, yeah. "Look at this crazy nerd fanboy yeah. going it, off!" Yeah. Like, and it's and and it's for the purposes of clickbait, which I don't get. I don't understand that. Well, I mean, it's also one of those things. I think too. They, it's some of them might uh, have opinions of me over the last couple of years. Don't like it. Want to want to. And look, the other thing too is it's the second pocket of those too. I saw a lot of colleagues of people that I've either met before, um, maybe you know briefly met. And they've had they had strong opinions on it too, and and in in a way that's negative towards me. And again, I think everyone has the right to interpret the situation however you want. All I ask you is this: you can either do you can you can either do one of the, whatever you want. To be honest, you can either say we're never we're going to make you pay for this forever, and you can keep and you know there's people who post mm. they, you know Red Letter Media put the video out yesterday. I knew that they would, um, and and then the the fans would come in and say stuff, and I knew and that's fine, that's fair, it's a prerogative too because they, that's their fan base. Mm -hmm. They don't know me. All they see again is dude reacting to and they share a fan base with us though too. Yeah, right? some, so a lot like of so them some do. some people were actually like, oh yeah, Christian said you guys were going to do it. This is funny. Like that's how I saw it too. Yeah. I actually thought like I've been watching those guys for years, and it's just one of those things where it's like, look, we like you said, we're all on the mic all the time, right. especially you guys, more so than me. You guys have been doing this for years. You're bound to mm. say something stupid. We all say stupid shit. Right. I, I, don't, I, I think that's, it's... I that's th where I come back. I'm sorry. Whatever. Yeah, so I think it's it's fair to to make fun of each other as in, in when you're doing it in a kind of like friendly way. I think if you're specifically going after somebody because they messed up or they had a bad day and you're attacking them, I think that that's not okay. That's, that's, that's the some, irresponsible part yeah, of it, because, yeah. That's, yeah, because you are also are really good at your job that's not a representation of who you are and and you're a good host and you're a good interviewer and you're a great friend to all of us so it's just one of those things where it's like yeah you fucked up like whatever it's not i didn't even see it as a fuck up i, I right. actually was entertained during that thing okay you blew up you did it for the bit whatever it was I know, you're yeah. embarrassed about it whatever like maybe you did say you you came off as entitled you apologize i get it but so what we're gonna give you shit about it and then next right. time i fuck up you guys give me shit about it and then it's over and it's not something that people should be focusing on here yes but i think again like i said the the internet is the is is it's, it's big you know and, and because the, you what you just said there as far as the the bit goes and everything too i i made the 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 bad call also in the fact that like not everybody knows what this show is show all is. the way yeah. to mm -hmm. too and i i feel sometimes that i can just do like, i gotta realize also that it's not yeah. schmoes no anymore you know it's also it, it and people were right. saying this too it's like because the fact and 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 you know like i said that night because you're representing we, a brand you mean yeah but yeah. then i bumped fists like a afterwards too and we, we just kind of we played it we played it up but also but it's still it was the fact that the overall thing to where and I said this, and I'll say it again. Like Haley and Christina, like they they, they they were doing their job, and I work for Collider. And the thing is, too, that I, for doing this, I should have just talked about the fucking thing. What I should have done in the beginning, to be honest with you, is I should have just showed disappointment. I should have just said, hey, you know, I'm bummed that we didn't get to go. Mm -hmm. uh, bummer. I would have liked to have gone to go, but I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what people are saying about it. And I can't wait to take my daughter there because that's honestly like how I felt. But I took it. I took it times a hundred, and I and I and I and I threw a fit on the air, and I'm paying for it. But so in a few years from now, we get to look back at these videos and laugh. Yeah, I guess. Well, I, I also think that some of these people are being a bit self righteous and sanctimonious because, like, they've never had moments right. of explosion. Some people came after you. I've seen them have emotional moments of explosion. 
explosion, at a junket, at an interview, with these other things. So for them to start to take you to yeah, task I don't want, I mean, is a I bunch of bullshit. It. I appreciate also, it, but I don't want, I don't need, well, we don't need to get into that. Uh, no, well, no, I, 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 I go to see my pieces, Clyde know. Alive. And, yeah. I, and also, if people are not going to do the legwork to learn more about you and just grab this clip and mm -hmm. want to chastise you and judge you for it and not realize that they themselves have had emotional moments at certain times in lives or made, made ha you know, got the, had let their emotions get the best of them, I find that to be the most ridiculous thing in the fucking world. If you're making fun of someone who's brought, like someone who has dedicated his life and brought a lot of love to the Star Wars universe and, and brought the content up and kept it alive when at times it was down in the, in the dumpster, then I, I, I think you have to have perspective. And I think that's the thing. And when did forgiveness <coughs> become like a problem for people? When did the enjoyment of making fun of someone supersede the idea of being, oh, wait, I've been there. I've yeah. made that mistake. Right. He just had a bad day. Because you can do both, right? It's about balance. It's about balance. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like you said, it's like, it's like if you watch this one uh, video of someone for the first time you've never known them, that doesn't mean that that's who they are. No, like, but, wait, but, like we're all we're all gray. Right. We're not black and white. So, you, so it's, I just hate it when people paint other people as like, that's that's a, uh, a whiny fanboy. That's a, a yeah, crazy bitch. Problem. That's dumb. But here, I know, I know. But the thing is, that's 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 the. And this is what I've accepted. That's the business that we chose to be in, right? right. Because the mm -hmm. other thing too is what I what what I was really bummed about. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, when this thing was was starting to catch on, is that I started inside of that clip. I started to represent everything that I talk uh, against, and and it seemed like the toxicity of. of Entitled a fanboy. That's right. what it seems like. Yeah, and, and I it, agree with there, that. There's no doubt about it. I looked at the clip and I was like, this just seems like some guy. So big fucking deal. You talk about Star Wars. Why do they have to invite you? And I right. get it. I like you, that. like you, like they invite you to premieres. They invite you to a bunch right, of stuff. Right. Right. And I got it. And, and it was you're just, pissed that you didn't get to go. To yes. Park. And I carried it over from the radio in the morning because yeah. we were kind of goofing around. And I and I and, it, and he did it terribly. And I'm paying for it. And I'm but I'm I'm also I'm I'm bear. It's my cross to bear. I get it. I get it. And that's why I said, like, that's why. And I appreciate all your words and your words, too. But, like, everyone out there. But you're also a baby. <laughs> definitely. There's no doubt about it now. Um, but everybody out there who, who you know, wh whatever it was. And to be honest, I'm going to even defend, because uh, some people are like, oh, I think Red Letter Media is taking it too far. I don't think that's what they do. That's their job. That's what that's they do. They're Saturday Night Live in the movie space. Yeah. That's yeah. what they are. And I get it. And I understand. It. And, like, you know, the thing is, it's like if that happens... I, I said it on the show. Yeah. I said they're going to do it because yeah. it would be I, – I gave them all the material. I gave them the ammo to do it, and yeah. they did it, and they and they should have done it. So yeah. it was it was ridiculous. Um, like I said, I hope that if you're a fan of this show that you you, you stick with us and, and you can accept my nonsense. Um, if you're not, if it's the first time you ever saw me, I apologize that that's how you <laughs> see me. And if you're just not a fan and you're gonna just take this to me no matter where you are, I get it. And you know we'll just we'll just keep we'll just keep bumping heads. But um, yeah. but that's it. Uh, and I'll probably have to address it again on Jedi Council because I'll be doing Jedi Council later too. But mm -hmm. but uh, I just um, you know it's one of those things. Are you doing like an apology tour? It's not. <laughs> it's not an apology tour as much as it's just like you know. It's just like I said. I mean, it's 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 partially an apology. It's 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 just I, I don't. It's. It was a failure to myself, to this company, to my family, um, because my, you know, it's just, it, it was, it was just all around. Just, it was, it was. Someone wrote it on Twitter the other day, and they were, they were right. Just, it was a bad look. Yeah, right. and it's all to us. It's yeah. a bad look. But so. uh, but again, we we will all be there at some point, and we've all done it. Yeah, and, we and, have. So, and, it we, and we all got also. Have. We also got to be nice to each other. It's like, I mean, we got to make fun of each other as friends, right. so exactly. we don't do that shit. But. We gotta hold ourselves accountable, but each other accountable. But we also gotta be nice to each other. Right. Um, well, thank you guys. What are you gonna for, say, Mark? So much. I, I, <laughs> it's it, 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 it's it's all been said here. It, it's just, um, you know, it, it, did you say something stupid? Yeah. It, it was, you know, it, you've taken credit for it. You, you you've apologized. It, it's just, <clears throat> it's it's a world we live in now where I see this thing take off. And then people that don't know you, and you're right, you put yourself in the crosshairs, and this is the internet. But nobody knew who, like, at least some of the people didn't know you, like I know you. Mm. Um, and they just started to pile on. And then those people started to pile on. And the people that never met you started to pile well, on. It's the internet, though, man. And that is the internet, and I understand, and they have every right to. But I just, as a friend, I'm sitting back watching this thing, and I'm watching the internet do its thing, and the wheels turning. Right. And I just started being like, this is the culture we're yeah. in now and it just made me very sad it, yeah. it, it just made me very sad to see this happening and again i it, everybody's gonna do it i can't 
there's nothing I can do about it. I just am – I go down these rabbit holes sometimes on these accounts and these videos people post and I'm wondering why because then it becomes so toxic and, and – you never like I the, get it. the mob mentality. The of mob like, mentality. Of like That's going what it was. After that somebody or something. Like but it's also you know, as as look, a, at it, like, look at it. Look at a creator side too. And I know that it's it's odd that I'm the one defending uh, everyone. But like, yeah. it's, but no, it's, and I, but the and thing. I, but, and I'm, but what I'm saying on the creator it. side of it too. If you're on one side of it and you see this thing happening, and people are making videos of it, and you want to get your video out of there, like I, 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 to be honest with you, I didn't. I have no animosity towards anybody out there. There's nobody. I mean, and I think you, John, you probably have more than I do. But yeah. And, and like, oh, I, if I saw some of these people, no, we'd but be I, having some nice conversations. But I, I just, I just don't. Because you want to see like, an emotional outburst? Yeah, go ahead. Look, because the thing is, like I said, I'm on. I'm, I do this show every day, uh, at least you know five days a week, and and um, like I said, I, I had a I had a day. Um, it, it came out and and people clipped it out and and it and it it did it did the, the internet magic and it spread on right <laughs> and it just like I said the, the the most embarrassing thing to me was the fact that people uh, that I that I highly respect and even other people that I didn't really know saw me in this light so um, that's yeah. it that's all I, I mean that's all you really can say about it so either uh, you know. You, yeah. you, you forgive, you forget, or you, or you say fuck off. I mean, yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, but All you three. know, we, to you, I'm talking about you guys, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but we, yeah. But last thing too is we've talked about it on the show that people just run, and we've done it. We're guilty of it too that we see somebody say one, you know, a headline, uh, and hey, we Albert, don't, we don't, or we don't off. finish the whole video of something, right? So yeah. like, just be, just we all need to be more aware of that. That's that, that's that, that's what. That's just let's make sure that like we we really research things and like like see things in context before we immediately say yes this person that has a lot of followers tweeted this mean thing about them so they're right and I'm going to go after this person that I don't know I think that's weird and I think you need to kind of get a life or do something more fun no I don't want because that's we weird we don't need to say that but anyway. Sorry. It's, it's no fine. I just want to say the Shatner line from SNL that's good um, but there are there's other things that are uh, going on right now and I think uh, there's some there's some news and uh, the first thing you know that I noticed that I, it's not in the notes but I don't know if you talked about it already. Did you talk about the swamp, the swamp thing? Yeah, yes. no, uh, yeah. I did put it in there because it okay. broke this morning. But you and we it met, no, yeah. we didn't no. talk we about it. We touched bit. on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they canceled after one episode. Um, I was confused because I looked at Rotten Tomatoes. It's like ninety-two percent. It was a budget thing. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, because it was bad. Because everyone loved it. Yeah. It was. Uh, John ex- was explaining. It was a tax yeah, issue. Yeah, a forty million dollar tax cut uh, credit that they were supposed to get, Thank which you. was going to take care of eight, half of the eighty million dollar cost of the season. Yeah didn't come through because of some paperwork errors. Oh, sh- oh, and so because of that, that if there was issues. Get, oh, wow. And there were already rumors about some creative differences going on behind the scenes. I have a friend of mine who's an executive at a certain studio. He was telling me about this like m- a couple of months ago that there were some issues right. going on behind the scenes. So to see this happen this way, you know, it's unfortunate because it was getting a lot of good reviews. And there's some good actors on here. And I said earlier that I've got a couple of friends who do a couple of episode arcs on the show. So I'm sad I'm not, I might not get to see that because right. they might not show any episodes. It's, yeah, it's crazy because yeah, because because I saw ninety two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. People, people yeah. people that people love really horror, yeah. superheroes, yeah. everything across yeah. the board were like, "This show well, is it makes great." Makes sense though, what John was saying though. Yeah. That's the case. That sucks. Paperwork error though. But God. dude, DC DC's making good stuff on streaming apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I hear. I Once need to Titans, get that. Other than Titans, has always been uneven. Doom, Doom Patrol, Doom Patrol is yeah. incredible. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, everyone so, says. that's what I've heard. So yeah. I was looking for forward to Swamp Thing. I need to get this streaming service apparently. Doom Patrol is whatever. Everyone's raving about. It. I mean, that's the one that uh, that Roxy and and uh, Sarah, yeah, and Sarah love. So right. check that out for sure. Uh, what else is going on? Well, what we else is going on? We talked about the Wonder Woman poster. Did you see yeah, it? Yeah, I did. It was cool. So good. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I like um, that. Well, this this is an interesting one. Uh, Ron Howard finally talked about some of the online. Well, he's calling them online trolls, partly to blame for Solo, a Star Wars box office, mm. which I don't know. I don't know what I believe it with that. You know, he mentioned it, which is which is interesting. I want to read you the quote, the mm-hmm. quote and see what you think. Um, let me find it. People talk while I find it. Talk, oh. talk, 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 uh, talk, 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 talk. He spoke about more than just he, – he, he lumped it all together. So, he did lump yeah. it. I wish he could have lived up to the box office expectations, Howard said. That's disappointing. Why didn't it? Maybe that's the release date. Maybe it was too nostalgic. Maybe pushback from the previous movie. Some trolling, definitely. It was especially noticeable in several algorithms such as Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes. There was an inordinate push down on the want-to-see score on Rotten Tomatoes and on the fan voting. That There was a series of OS and – ones oh zeros and ones on there mm-hmm. but i didn't take it personally so i think he's just kind of revisiting looking at it and everything but he was ultimately very proud of what he did how much money did rogue one make compared to solo 
Do we know? Well, over a billion. Yeah. Well, because the, so that so it did really well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Also, well, because in, and I think you know um, they had said it a couple times is that the, the release dates. You know, they put Solo in May. I think it was two weeks or three weeks after Infinity War. Right. And then uh, Rogue One had to have December all by itself. Yeah. So right. They, yeah. They, they're they're not going to do that anymore. Put try to because they were going for the nostalgic May mm-hmm. thing. So they've they've gotten away from that. Yeah. And I don't, I don't necessarily buy the the Rotten Tomatoes stuff. I think no. it was all just, you know, the Last Jedi had just come out. We had, as you mentioned, Infinity War, but there was Deadpool two. There was a number of movies like right there that I think, you know. And then you, you get couple in the nostalgia, and this is coming from somebody that didn't re- really enjoy Solo that much. I think that there was something about it. There was like, yeah, I don't know. I'd rather see I, this. I also <laughs> think it's. I mean, you're selling. You're trying to sell a Han Solo movie without the Han Solo. Right, that's, Harrison, that's a yeah. big one. Yeah. So. Well, also, yeah, the, man. And, but I, I don't buy the trolling thing either because look, Captain Marvel. No, no film, maybe, has tr- been trolled more than Captain Marvel. It's a great point. Yeah. And it made over a billion dollars. Yeah. So I think it's about the quality of the film. There was a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Marketing. 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 People were upset about the Lord Miller situation. You look at Spider Verse and you go, they should have let him finish that damn solo movie. And you, Ron Howard comes in. Ron Howard, who is a safe director, he's not an edgy cutting edge director making bold choices he's a good safe director to land the ship and do what he can do did some recasting right. but in the end it was a meh film some people really love it and respect to that yeah. but overall it's a meh film and you move on uh, but I, I think it was a number of things I know there's really I think it's overall quality of the film mm-hmm. I think it, it would if it was a great film People would it would have overcome everything. I don't That's know. It. There's a lot of movies though that are good that don't make any money. But did, are they franchise pictures? Well, That's, Blade Runner 2049. Helps. Yeah. Yeah, that, and what, I didn't how even, can you even that's just a saying. hard one to pinpoint that's well because that's like pure sci-fi well, that's pure not, sci-fi that's but not. also the first movie didn't make a lot of money so it that's doesn't true. have a track record of being you're talking great. about like a Star Wars or a, or a, yeah, or something a like a or franchise an that comes okay. with built in fan base is what I'm yeah. saying yeah, yeah. alright so. cool what's next uh, well, there's uh, the, the, we talked about a little bit scary stories to tell in the dark I want to get your take on this uh, did you see the trailers yet Christian? no okay they're awesome it's based on kids' kind of scary books. It's just been revealed that it's going to be PG-13 instead of R. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, including myself, wanted an R rating. You think horror movies are PG-13, though, for this thing. And I think it kind of looks at the base of the, the, the view, not only just you know the audience, but some of these kids that might be reading the books now that are a little bit older. I mm-hmm. think they're going for a wide audience. PG-13 might be a good target. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I mentioned up top, you know, gore and nudity, you don't necessarily need to scare the pants off of somebody. So, I see what this is. PG thirteen seems to work. Yeah, you know? I mean, I think that that's. I don't know enough about it. So, as far as like the if it, like there's certain movies that you want it to be R because you know the material and mm-hmm. you know that it's got like think Deadpool needed to be served as a rated R movie at least. I mean, he probably still could have done it, but it, but it served its best for what Deadpool is. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. rated R. So I don't know. I don't know if this calls for rated R. I don't know enough about it because uh, I'm not like a hardcore fan of of the stuff. But mm-hmm. I think that if it, you know, you, you could do a PG-13 if you want to get those people in there. You still make things creepy. It wasn't Conjuring. No, Conjuring was R. Well, I was just asking. I was just thinking about it. Was that R or PG-13? Yeah, that was R. Oh, but yeah. see, but that's what's weird. It's like because of the arm scene at you the probably. beginning. <laughs> that was the only cr- like really. Wasn't there gory language thing? in it too? Yeah, but that's it. weird. It depends. I think there's a one. I think you get one f bomb, which, by the way, I don't know if you guys talked about it yesterday on mm-hmm. uh, uh, f- during the apoc- an apocalypse, the uh, Dark Phoenix review. But mm-hmm. there's one very unnecessary f bomb in that movie. Oh, to give it, the, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's like it just kind of, it's it's like I don't you know I I th- I throw the word around more than uh, than most people, but it, but it just it just seems so jarring in the middle of the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was weird. I don't know. I just, we were just talking about earlier that I I think the rating system is so bizarre to me because yeah. you have like what makes what's the difference between a PG thirteen and an R when language and nudity to me I don't think are bad things. Like I think violence is way worse. Yeah. So I, it makes no sense. Yeah. It's so, always been like a uh, that's um, an American. American thing, like yeah. Tour, so it's always been that way. Yeah. It makes zero yeah. sense to I me. I know. But in Europe, you're not going to see that. No, because they're better <laughs> at stuff than well, we are. They take naps in the middle of the day, man. They're yeah. loose. Siesta they have is like three-hour dinners. Yeah, yeah, like in Mexico, we have <coughs> siesta. We have three-hour lunches, mm. and dinners. Right. Yeah, it's mm. better. What else you got? Well, this one's. I can... You ready for this? Sure, let's do it. Come on, Superman <laughs> fan. Let's do Superman it. Superman fan. Uh oh. Matthew Vaughn has been talking, and uh, he was rumored to direct Man of Steel two. That's true. Cool. He was attached. I he was going to work on it. But before Zack Snyder did his, Vaughn was working on a trilogy of Superman oh. movies. And this is what's crazy. 
is that he was going to keep Superman on Krypton, mm -hmm. and Superman was going to get a little bit older. Superman was going to become somewhat Superman, aware of Earth before Krypton. So he mm -hmm. was going to bypass some of the raising of Clark Kent <coughs> on the farm in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be his take on Superman, mm. which I found very, very fascinating. Yeah, me too. Um, this is great from our friends at Slash Film. Uh, they got this. It was a, a, a Polygon interview with uh, Matthew Vaughn. Uh, Vaughn revealed that the first film in the proposed trilogy was meant to take place almost entirely on Krypton and focus on Jor-El and the impending explosion of Krypton. Though the alien planet would still face destruction, Vaughn and Miller's take would have had, and Mark Miller was uh, writing the book, uh, the the movies. Are you serious? Yeah. Damn. Vaughn and Miller's take would have the event take place much later in the timeline, allowing Superman to grow up on his home planet and gradually become familiar with Earth, maturing into an adult before having to reckon with his loyalty to both planets. Well, that messes with the foundation of the mythology yeah. because he is an yes. alien sent from his Don't. parents to be saved yeah. in this planet and has to be like figure out how to live amongst these people. Well, now, it's always been it's the a, Jesus thing. Right. Yeah. And now it's always, it's an adult choice if you go this way to go to Earth to be the hero How old is he, though? Even, even but so. It's a, but I just think, like Riley says, it's fascinating to me because it's kind of like if you read Superman Red Sun, mm -hmm. right? right? It's just like an entirely different, like what would have happened if Superman... It landed the Soviet Union, exactly, right? Exactly, right? Like, and, and, and in this case, it's like, would would he still make the same choices, right? Yeah. It, whereas like we saw in Man of Steel, which some people didn't like, but I loved, that um, he chose humans over his people right? Yeah. because he realized that the people that the, the aliens were coming to invade the planet right? right so in this case he would be the alien sort of helping invade the planet so i don't know it's it's i think it's an interesting take well, he refers to himself as an earthling basically yeah he's, he's, he's he was raised there and he's he's that's how he's felt but it's funny because i love matthew vaughn and um there's there's two sides of it for me i think there's part of it that it's like hey he's trying something new so we don't do the same thing again and again and again but I kind of lean more towards what you initially said there, mm. John. Was just like that's the, the the foundation of what makes Superman Superman. Yeah, you just kind of take that away a little bit. So um, I I don't know. I mean, you could. I I don't I don't mind the idea of the first movie out of the trilogy being all about Jarrell and leading yeah. up yeah. And, and the end being yeah. when Superman right. takes off and just being in that's Krypton. That's what I would yeah. like. That would just be cool. living in Krypton yeah. for like an hour and a half. Like, that'd be awesome. Because right, they have that series, but I've never I've yeah, never Krypton. watched it. Yeah, yeah. Never Did you guys it. see it? Multiple no. generations. Yeah, I, I watched the first two episodes. Mm. Didn't love it. Eh. No. Mm. Yeah, it did. I, I, like I, it? I don't know. I think it's a good. I think it got better as it went along. That's what I heard. Second season is. I think it's coming up or, or has come out yeah. recently and so it's on sci-fi yeah sci-fi and have Lobo's some gonna the, be in it yeah yeah so we're gonna have some of the actors Lobo Lobo, Lobo oh. Character. Yeah. oh wow we need a Lobo movie that's what they were trying forever I remember Rock was was up yeah. for at one point too yeah, that was a long yeah, time yeah. ago and Jason Momoa that's I think everybody right. was saying if right. you remove Smallville and you remove Ma Pa Kent and you remove the kind of uh, Norman Rockwell uh, foundation of Clark Kent yeah right? and if you make him more world weary so that he's intentionally Putting on the Clark Kent character in a way from a different place, I just wonder. Emotionally, I mean, yeah. I just wonder about it's kind that. Of a, it's, a, it's a moot point now, right? Because what's what, right, what, right, are, right. what are they doing with it now? It's nothing. Who knows? Nothing. No. And and every Unless time they revisit it in the future. This, <laughs> yeah, he said, and and Matthew Vaughn said I was going to incorporate some of the ideas into Man of Steel two because mm -hmm. he did go in to talk about Man of Steel two and was interested in it. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I don't know why they can't get a Man of Steel 2 off the ground. You know, know, everybody either, knows me. Mark, I'm going to be yelling it. and screaming mm. about this. But Same. then he ends the interview with saying, look, if they they want to do Man of Steel 2, give me a call. It would be hard to say no. Yeah. Like, Matthew Vaughn wants to do this. Well, remember also that... Just have that him do it. He's good. This is funny, because this is such a deviation away from this, the Superman mythology, yeah. what you were just saying. J.J. Yeah. Abrams, yeah, his script... Yeah, I was going to bring that up. Right, his script was pretty, for the most part, I would say 95%, like, traditional mm -hmm. Superman, and it was it was a crazy script. I remember watch, reading it years ago, and then at the end, turns out like Lex Luthor is a Kryptonian. And, and Krypton yeah. is still mm -hmm. around. Still around. Right, so right. that was the change. I think, I mean, that was, and, and people lost their minds like in a bad way on yeah. that, right? That That is like minuscule compared to this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway. Yeah. So, but since we already have a Christopher Reeve Superman, right? Like what's, I think it's cool to make different stories that aren't necessarily like the mythology of a character, you know, like, like you can have different adaptations, like a bright sure, burn, sure. right? Yeah. But it's tricky with Superman Clark Kent because everybody's so, I mean, that's, you, you brought up mm. some of the ideas when he's, He's Clark Kent because of his raising on yeah. Kansas and Ma and Pa Kent and that the persona he puts on is Superman. But right. it, inherently, he's Clark Kent. With this idea, I feel like you spin that. 
Yeah. He's inherently Superman, and then he puts on the disguise, and yeah. he's not Clark Kent, and he's acting. I don't know. It just feels different. So as a hardcore Superman, I don't know if I can I, – I don't know if I'd be open to that. I might be one of those people on the internet go, no, that's not my Superman, and I'd be upset. <laughs> and you would sound like Sean Connery? <laughs> that's not my Superman. Well, you go, you go can I believe to... this shit, Indiana? <laughs> <laughs> can't believe they're doing this with my shoes. Dude, have them in it's your sights. Uh, you go from macro Fucking to assholes. micro with this stuff too, right? Because mm-hmm. if you if you go, well, he's supposed to represent the best of us as humans. And if you go micro, the best of this, what used to be the best of this country, America. Yeah. So like there is all this stuff weaved into Superman and lore of mythology that's kind of a sub, subtly running through it that if you remove that, I wonder what you have in the long run. Didn't, didn't Kevin Smith write one too and that was pretty controversial so. where him and him and uh, um, uh, Lex Luthor were going <laughs> at it as well in a way that was like they had equal powers. Yeah, uh, I mean, that kind of I thought thing. that was a JJ one. But oh, uh, maybe it was. I'm, I'm yeah, right. that was the JJ yeah. one. Okay. Um, this, this just for me, it feels like people don't know how to tackle Superman, so they're trying to reinvent it to right. kind of give it something that they can well, I go do, on. I wish someone would just uh, adapt uh, Mark Wade's birthright. Yes. Oh, that's you know, one. because that's, yeah. I think all that's star one of Superman, the, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Or just have Grant Morrison write all the superhero movies. <laughs> Speaking of completely different um, property, but are they ever going to do Why the Last Man? I know they're, they're, so it's the, a series, the, right? I know, yeah. my favorite. Um, yeah. The last I heard is that they were switching showrunners. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know what's happening with but that. But still talking about yeah, it. Yeah, but they had a great cast and everything. And, and Who was I, the cast? Do you remember? I think Diane Lane was in it. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, it was like big. They got to recast it. So what happened? That was another, that was another, another paperwork thing was it no no that wasn't no that was creative differences no. apparently the uh, and the creators uh came out and tweeted something throwing shade yeah. at the studio really? that fired them saying like we had an we had an approach to this that was going to respect the material they didn't want to go with it so mm. we're off the situation so they're essentially saying that they wanted to make changes the studio did or whoever was producing wanted to make changes to the story that was against what the uh lore of these characters are in Why the Last Man. Because so. was it was FX still doing it? Or who I think was so, it? Yeah. See, because I love them. I think they do really great stuff. And mm-hmm. Legion is my favorite oh, superhero Legion. anything on TV. Mm, yeah. Um, right. Of course and it is. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Because it's great? Because it's so... No, it is good. Because it's so weird? No, I watched uh, I watched half of it. I need to catch up because I really like it. No, because it's fucking weird. It's yeah, nutty. It is. Yeah, so it's weird. like, of course it is. Yeah. Of course it's your favorite. It's like David Lynch and Kubrick. Like, yeah, oh, really? D- ended up directing it together. Baby. Oh, yeah. so good. Awesome. So. Uh, what was the other thing? There was another... Sh- oh, when's, uh, when's Watchmen come out? Oh, oh, no. oh, on HBO, right? I don't if know. Doing Speaking of flying, already. did you guys see the lady on the helicopter that was being saved? <laughs> no. Because I'm going to send it to oh, Cody yeah. right now. Yeah. It's so good. You Cody, you know what me. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yay. <laughs> he, he has it. Okay. Speaking of Superman flying, this lady was apparently uh, hurt herself hiking, which okay. sucks. No, but, that does suck. But a helicopter uh, came out and saved her. Yeah. And then uh, hijinks yeah. ensued. What happened with the hijinks? All right, let's see. Gonna we're going to watch. All right, let's, are we allowed to watch this? I guess so. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. All right, let's, uh, let's bring it to a full screen, and here we go. Oh, that's shitty quality, Cody. Well, it's not his fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better. It's better. It's better. <laughs> it's be- it got better. Patience so, th- so <laughs> is that her? Oh, no. Is that just whipping her around? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. What? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> How old is she? Seventy-three. Oh my God! Oh, stop it! Seventy-five. Yeah. Oh my God! So what did they? They're just whipping her around. Oh, that poor woman. She's turning into Wonder Woman at this. Uh, point. She's gonna throw up all over the place. Is she Wonder okay? Woman. She was, she's, I think she's okay now, but could you imagine? I'd be no like, just leave me in just, the, just yeah, leave me in the mountain. Okay. Just let the wolves eat me. <laughs> <laughs> she's okay, no additional injuries. Yeah. Not um, for lack of trying. Just let the wolves eat me. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what are you doing? Just drop me, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to get off. I want to get off. Wow. Please. Who was flying then? I don't know. <laughs> Someone but it, did a great uh, uh, gif or meme of it yeah. where you show, they showed the guy is still going... And then her just spinning around and around her, an yeah. old lady's face just spinning around. Cody, oh can you God. go to my Twitter? Because I retweeted <laughs> this guy uh, doing uh, a reaction, <laughs> pretending to be the pilot, and then somebody added the interstellar music to it. It's really good. Yeah, that's funny. That's poor. I guess not funny to that Oh, woman. not Cody. Uh, Alex. No, Who's wasn't... doing this? Is Alex here? No, it's Who's Cody. Cody? Yeah, Are Alex you using Alex's account? Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Where is it's, it? It's, no. Where'd you go? No, no, no. Go back. All the way Doing up. Doing the tweets a lot. 
I do, apparently. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is a reaction to Yeah, this, this is what I'm talking about, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what I was mentioning. It's brilliant. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's funny. It's so oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It was titled, when, What the Helicopter Guy Sees uh, Versus What She Sees. <laughs> I just love that they add Hans Zimmer it's to funny. it. It's so good. It's really good. Um, cool. So we're going to go go to break. And I, we got Winston Marshall coming in. Ooh, Winston Marshall's coming in. Yeah. And then uh, we got to uh, talk about the huge giveaway that we're doing. Okay, cool. Oh, you haven't mentioned it yet. Cool. Yeah. So we are going to do a uh, – we were going to take some calls, but unfortunately uh, calls aren't working. So what we're going to do – I said it yesterday. And let me look at that because it's the Father's Day pack, Ooh. courtesy of Paramount. You get you – you're, I can't believe this What's thing. That? The Godfather trilogy, the Son Corleone Ooh. legacy, Forrest Gump 25th anniversary, Jack Ryan season one, Mission Impossible six movie collection, Bumblebee plus Transformers collection, and – Saving Private Ryan 4K. This all comes together courtesy of Paramount for Father's Day. So what we want you to do is go to Collider Live Facebook page. And it's real simple. Tell an awesome story about your dad. What if, if they memories, don't have Facebook? Twitter? No, doing no. Facebook today. Just We're Facebook? doing Facebook. Okay. You know, Collider Live. Today? The Collider Live Facebook page has been nothing but awesome. Okay. There are awesome people in there. We cool. we don't they take are. enough. Like we sometimes we miss questions there. So I want you to go in, cool. either start a new post, or you can go into the question post, or in the thread of the the post that you guys chat every day. Please tell a wonderful, heartwarming, great story about your dad. Any any words of wisdom maybe that he said, or or a funny story that happened. And I'm gonna pick the best one, the most one that, that you make me cry. Because this freaking giveaway is probably awesome. one of the best yeah. that we've ever had. And you can't. And you got, I mean, you want to watch Saving Private Ryan today. Yeah. 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 D-Day, yeah. Yeah, D-Day, man. So you can't, D-Day you can't, anniversary. You, I can't like, send you something. No, you can't. Sorry, buddy. Can you, I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I've never I was, seen you sadder. He didn't respond to me. I'm like, hey, you got any more of them Father's Day prize packs? <laughs> you, ain't no, you ain't no father. Yeah, I know. And he's like, he's like, does it count that I have a fur baby? Yeah. Is that anything? No? All right. All right. So I guess we'll go to break. When we get back, uh, Winston Marshall will join us. And we'll hey. talk about uh, Comic-Con here. It doesn't look, I thought it was Warner Brothers that wasn't going to be there. But it looks like just DC won't be at Comic-Con. DC. All right. We'll find out more after the break. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email as well. Once again, it's every Saturday and Sunday on the Collider video feed, and also you can listen to us on podcast, on the Movie Talk podcast feed, every Saturday and Sunday. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Hey guys, Perry Nemirov here to let you know that The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. We also have clips on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared, hopefully you survive the witching hour. 
What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the Blue Brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Perry here to let you know about the new edition of Collider Movie Talk. We are going to five days a week. We have a short, sweet 20 minute show where we focus on the two biggest stories of the day. You can expect to see all of your favorite Collider personalities on the show, including Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Haley Fouch. You're getting Josh McCuga every Friday. We are going to have a blast. It's going to be informative, fun. Come join us. 3 p.m. PT live every single day of the week right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel. You can also find the show on the Collider Movie Talk feed on our podcast network. So go watch, go listen, however you prefer to get all of your movie news. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashotti on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel. And if you want to take us along with you in your ears, you can go and subscribe to the Collider Sports podcast feed for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations, and I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. And if you want to catch our weekly show where we talk about the latest and greatest in Star Wars, it's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel. That's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel and you can listen, you can watch, you can do all of it. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever it is, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars. Episode 9 is coming out. And then after episode you got TV shows, so we're going to be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on. Be real. Back on Collider Live here on uh, Thursday. And joining us in studio once again, Winston Marshall. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? I'm glad to be back. Good Shit. to see you. It was, it was fast. I know, it's true. <laughs> uh, they loved you, man. Uh, we I'm love glad you. To be back. So, um, appreciate hey, it. listen, so there's a couple things that before we get into the main topic here, this Swamp Thing thing, you heard about it, right? Yeah. What's going on? What do you think about it? Did you see any of the episodes? No, yeah. So, Jay and I have been doing a review. Jay Washington and I have yeah. been doing reviews of uh, the DC Universe shows. So, we just finished our run on Doom Patrol, which y'all should check that out YouTube.com slash Mr. Jay Washington 08. Uh, but I, you nice. know, we started the Swamp Thing stuff and, you know, we started getting into it and to hear this is like disappointing. Yeah. Like it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Jay loved it a little more than I did uh, just because I've seen the second episode already, which drops on Friday and not my favorite, but I, I was excited to see where this is going. Right. So you, you never like to hear that. Do you like, like horror? Uh, I, n uh, not really, but that's, but that's not even my <laughs> reason. Not necessarily. Just, just watch no, no. the uh, no, 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 that's, that's a <laughs> I know, right? Watch the the it chapter two reaction video I did. Oh. Uh, oh. To the question. Does he like horror? Uh, is he like Josh? Is it like Josh McCuga? Uh, it's it's uh, similar. It's, it's, real uh, talk, the black version yeah. of it. It's pretty. Like, uh, real, it's pretty real funny. Talk. <laughs> like it's it's just it's not McCuga esque it, like when he screams and moves, but like the the terror slowly filling your face as you're like no 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 like it's just. The best way I could describe it, when Get Out came out, I was super excited about this, right? And so I went to the the former Magic Johnson Theater, the, the people who refer to as the black theater over there, and it was like 98% black people in there, and like two white people that didn't know what they were getting themselves into. <laughs> but literally so the whole jealous. time, I'm a spoiler alert this right now, if you haven't seen Get Out by now, I don't know who you are, Yeah, go What's away. wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. Uh, but the whole time shit would happen, like at one point when... Uh, <laughs> When when Chris found the photos yeah. and he was looking at the different people, some dude goes, "Oh shit, she got Darrell, and Tyrone, <laughs> and Jerome, and Laquisha. Nigga, you better get out." <laughs> <laughs> like, like, 
which I just realized maybe I can't say that on here, but it's fine. Like it was just that was th- that, and that's who I am in a movie theater. I went to a, a screening of uh, the 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 movie about the grandparents that were the kids come to visit. Uh, oh right, the visit, right? Oh the visit, the visit, the visit. The visit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, like, I literally said the title. That's a yeah. creepy. Uh, one too. Ah, you said the title. Yeah. Yeah. I spent the whole movie being like. Why the hell you go out of there? You dumb? <laughs> you gonna die? Clearly, there's a demon in the house. Like that's <laughs> so. Like, but I didn't feel that way about Swamp Thing. It's actually like it's it's a good show. I just for me, after coming off of Doom Patrol, I think I still have a little bit of like good hangovers. So yeah, like, people love I, Doom Patrol. Man. It's so good. Yeah. Diane Guerrero needs an Emmy. Real yeah. talk. She's um, so good. She's amazing. Yeah, she's absolutely awesome. amazing. Um, I see that show. But yeah. one thing I wanted to say real fast was because uh, I know you guys were talking about Superman. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's talk. Uh, so here's my issue with Matthew Vaughn's take. Yeah, yeah. I, I got you, that. You, you, heard, you heard me, right? Or, oh, no? I didn't. I don't know. Please. That's literally Supergirl's story. So if right. you're going to do that, just do Supergirl. Right. And why would you take that away from a character, That's like a very right. rich I don't, origin of I don't hers? know much about Supergirl, I don't so either, I didn't but, know that. Okay. So it's, it's essentially that, is okay. that uh, she's older uh-huh. than, uh, than Clark. Okay when the planet explodes Mm -hmm. but she gets caught up in space so she doesn't age where obviously Clark goes as a baby on Earth grows up all that kind of stuff so she is actually a character that lived on Krypton until she's about 13 right and then was sent to Earth to take care of her younger cousin. Mm-hmm. And then obviously shows up and she's now, she's the younger one. But that's the whole thing. She had an opportunity to live on the planet. So mm-hmm. instead of taking away an origin from a very amazing character, mm-hmm. a female superhero, all that kind of stuff, you're just going to give it to, like, you're going to strip away what makes Clark Clark. And you're right. going to strip away what makes Kara Kara. What? It doesn't make sense. See, have cross we, the board. Not have, a good idea. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. But have we, <laughs> I just like different stuff. But no, but I get it. But have, have they announced at all uh, plans to make a Supergirl movie? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In fact, the last I heard that that's, um, might be rumors, I don't know, but they're pushing that over oh. Man of Steel 2. Is it confusing, though, sometimes, to, I mean, when you have... Because The Flash, obviously, yeah. was such a uh, very popular television show. Right. And it was hard to get – it's still been hard to get that movie off the ground. Right. right. And I think that by the time it comes out, maybe then people can detach. I just I – was, I was always in the minority, I thought, though, too, that when you had someone that was playing the character on television that was popular. Why you wouldn't bring them. Why you either wouldn't bring yeah. them or do it in the first place because it's hard to – it's kind of hard to detach while it's going on at the same time. Right. Um, so that I mean, and I know not everybody felt that way. It's just kind of the way that I that I thought, you know, when I know, I, Barry Allen, for example. Right. Sure. I don't really feel that way just because I do like, like I said, d- different iterations of the character. Yeah. But also, I mean, that the DC TV universe is very different, it's different than yeah. than the DC EU. And they made it clear to say that also. Yeah. That was the, that was the thing that from the moment that they were making those movies, they said, mm-hmm. that's that. This is that. I just because I was watching Flash for a little bit, and I was like. But I really like him, and I don't want to be unfair to whoever is going yeah. in here I, and then start saying, "Well, I wish it was him." No, but, I feel yeah. the, I feel the same way right now with the Suicide Squad because they're bringing in Idris to be Bronze Tiger, right? And right. Michael J. White was is yeah. incredible on Arrow as Bronze Tiger. Right. So it's one of those things where it's like obviously Idris is like world class, really good. Uh, and but Michael J. White again because you know he's a world class martial artist and everything yeah. else like that. I would have loved to see him be able to take right. it to the big screen. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Is, is that is. is that confirmed now that he's going to be Bronze mm-hmm. Tiger? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. I can't believe I'm excited for a Suicide Squad movie after last <laughs> Well, I mean, you got you just have James Gunn, you have yeah. this, this cast, and, and it's, a, it's a different direction. So yeah. Yeah. It, might yeah. be, it might be a lot of fun. Yeah. Because the original premise of it is, is, is what got a lot of people excited. It's yeah. just very, I just hope they still have this. I, no, you don't. don't. You I will don't. walk out of that movie. That was that was <laughs> this close. I was like, when that happened, I was like, that, you Chandra's got to be kidding me. Like, yeah. I'm happening? like, where's Superman? Yeah, but the, um, yeah. <laughs> just kill her That's already. Right. <laughs> just, <laughs> just goes right down. Like, but, yeah, took with, just lands on Enchantress. But with all this the DC talk, you know, I was... I don't want to say shocked, but I was. Uh, I saw yesterday that um, that they said that they're not going to have a presence at Comic Con this year. Which I thought, mm. if either one was going to do it, I thought Marvel wouldn't do it because of D twenty three. I thought that they would pr- pull pull their stuff out, but DC's not doing it, um, which is interesting because they usually for the last like f- at least four or five years, I think that they've owned. Hall H, you know, maybe yeah. there's one year where I think Marvel had the better one, but uh, but uh, DC's been putting on some pretty good shows in Hall H. Do you think it's because they spend so much money at Comic Con and they feel like they don't need to do the marketing for these movies anymore? Or what, or I what think it's happening the with a lot of studios. 
because it is crazy to right. to have people well, your your people in your studio like at Comic Con. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of marketing. That yeah. I mean, are, how how do you test the data? Yeah, you know, how do you test it that it's working? You know, it's like I think that Comic Con is very different. Um, today than it was obviously even in 2004 2005 and that's when it started picking it up with the with the industry like the industry is, is when it kind of got its claws mm. into comic Con was like uh, 2004 2005 right. yeah so it's been it's more about business deals and all those kind of things yeah this feels very similar to what happened with e3 for like a decade where like it was originally like supposed to be a public event that people could go to and then they cut it off to be press only and a lot of people being pretty pissed off about it like that's the big thing I've I've seen on Twitter is people are upset they're like half the reason I go is for Hall H so like yeah. that's that kind of sucks. There's um, only one positive to it. I wonder. They usually, well, they usually have it on Saturday, like in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, now people can come to the Schmodown on Sun on July. <laughs> I was waiting there for it. it. I was like, there it is. Because yeah, uh, now, well, that, because a lot, I had actually got a lot of messages. People like, I'm waiting for, to see what the what the Comic Con schedule is mm -hmm. before I get the tickets. So yeah. I was like, I, you and picked I said, a I get good it. night, man. It's always about Saturday. night. Saturday night, July yeah. 20th, is going to be a good one. It's uh, the SchmodownLive.com. If you want to see Rachel Cushing defend against either Kalinowski or Smets, uh, which we'll find out who wins that on on June 22nd. Nice. So, um, but yeah, it's. It, the fact that they're not going to be there, um, and then you would assume because actually, you know what? I take that back. Is normally uh, w DC and Warner Brothers is in the morning, and yeah. Warner Brothers will probably still be in the morning with it, right? Right. And then Marvel will probably be at like four. So, do you think Marvel's going to actually go? Or are they going to pull? Is this I a big? They is weren't this, either, though. Is this a bigger sign? Here that Hall H is were, becoming. No? I don't know. I can't. I'll, I'll start looking it up. But right. I wanted to say, is this a bigger sign that um, I think about when Suicide Squad that trailer mm -hmm. leaked and and uh, you know people were pissed. Uh, the right. filmmakers were pissed. Uh, Warner Brothers was and it, there was cracking down on it. It's like those leaks happen. Uh, all the time now. Are they wanting to pull out because of that, or is it because of, of somebody brought brought it up here? It's like. They don't need to market anymore, but they have Joker, they have, what, uh, Birds of Prey, and they have Wonder Woman 1984 that right. left on the table. Yeah. I would yeah. love to. I love that Hall H presentation that I was in a few years back that showed us the first look at Justice League and brought everybody up. I was hyped. That was so much fun. Right. And, the, like, everything, they, the, the windows open and you have the full surround. That was like why I'm the geek. I'm right. sitting in there going, yeah, and then. And that's, and I mean, how many, uh, I feel like you guys are the journalists, not me. Um, <laughs> when, I mean, I'm a little bit. But uh, when they actually, when they always have a journalist or press travel to a city for for a specific movie, right? Like, uh, like they had, like all my friends went to like the Aquaman uh, set, set, you know, like things yeah. like that. Like, do you think that they're focusing more on that type of stuff? Could I think, be. well, yeah, because with that, that's more beneficial to them because you get coverage yeah. off of. I mean, because the coverage that comes from Comic Con. It's, uh, I mean, you get a lot of coverage from Comic Con also, but I think that it's specific to where there's things that you want people to cover. So mm -hmm. if it was to bring, bring you out to the to the set and Momo, like, so when I went to the Ant Man thing, like mm -hmm. Ant Man, uh, Paul Rudd kind of came out, but we couldn't release our reports until like, you know, four months later right. because it's part of the marketing strategy, like right before. Uh, but please put your piece out around this time, and then that comes out right as they're putting all their marketing materials out. So it's part of the it's part of their marketing budget as where it's it's just a crapshoot with Comic Con. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting because like because like you're saying, Mark. You know, as a fan, that sucks. If you wanna, that's like your one opportunity to see these people and yeah. and be and be with the fans, enjoying like a trailer for the first time. Brings but, you together. Right. It really feel, does. It feels like almost like they're just not ready. More so than anything, I feel like be, they've, they've backed themselves into a wall. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they just saw how Gangbusters Endgame was and saw how much of a flop a lot of people are calling Game of Thrones that they're like, let's not put something half-assed out there and have people be hyped and we're just not good to go. Well, what do they have? They have the Joker with the good right. show. Which, and that would, that would be the one, but you can't. I feel like you can't rest your laurels on one movie. That's true. Did they? When did they start shooting the Suicide Squad? Have they? I, I think they when. start. When do they start? Uh, I don't because know. if they start because end of this year, well, mm -hmm. okay, the end of this year. Because I was going to say, if they started in, in like May, June, mm -hmm. right? Um, if they had already started, then it was G it was James Gunn 
who, after shooting for two weeks, right. had put together a pretty extensive package for Guardians the mm. first time ever. And it, lo- it was like a full-on trailer, like a, yeah, yeah. a legit. So there's ways to do it if you want to get people hyped. But but I don't think you're wrong in the fact that you want to make sure that you you have everything. You don't want to half-ass it. You, you want, you know, it's, it's, you're, they're in a good spot right now. They're right. putting out good movies. They've had some good... Um, They've had some good casting choices, right. and they're they're in a lot better spot than they were like two, three years ago. So why why ruin it if you don't need to? Right. right. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that that's my biggest feeling, and I think that that's why they decided to make that announcement while releasing the Wonder Woman poster to be like, no, see, we got stuff. We just you know, here you go. This is right. enough, right? This all you need. I yeah. don't. We go. <laughs> yeah, I guess Wonder Woman they could show a trailer too, right? They, they yeah. could have, yeah. yeah but they did last year. They yeah. showed a little teaser, a little. Well, it was more. It wasn't even a, really a trailer, kind right? Of it was a kind scene. of it was a scene from the. Yeah. Mall. But it's. I mean, we're a year away, so maybe it's just too soon. Wonder Woman well, 1984 I mean, is really. I mean, they've moved it, but that thing is in the can. Yeah, but, right. but, is it? But the other yeah. thing that's the other thing should be. They've we, shot it. All. Shot when is he enough, actually, enough for a trailer. And enough for post production. But, but yeah. here's but here's the weird part to me about that. Now that I think about it, is that sh- that drops June of next year, right? Yeah. yeah. So that means that the Wonder Woman 84 will never have a Comic Con appearance. Which yeah. I think is also right. kind of weird. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, because it's not like, cause, like I said, when it comes to Marvel, you go, well, they're probably going to show their stuff at D twenty three if not there. Like, where does like, what I, you know what I love for? I, what, is there something? They're, they're, Marvel is uh, according to this Marvel. report. I'm about DC. Marvel is going. To, Marvel is going, and uh, maybe Star Wars: Rise of the of Skywalker. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what at least this report is when saying. When is D twenty three? I would assume that they would put Rise those. Maybe the they're doing Skywalker both. Skywalker is what I want it to be called. Well, they've done that before with, the, but I think that that's because they're so close to one another because. Because you know D twenty three is in Anaheim, that you want to make it a little. Like, do you want to buy tickets to D twenty three if you know that they're going to play everything at, at Comic Con? Mm. You know what I mean. It's mm. like it's you can pick and choose, or you, instead of going to both. Well, they but D twenty three, I feel like it's mostly Disney fans though that go right. Like how many how many Star Wars fans and Marvel fans go? Like how, how much how much? What's the presence of Lucasfilm stuff and the last one Marvel was pretty stuff. significant. Was it? Yeah, okay. and it was um it was pretty big, and they showed a lot of Marvel stuff for sure. And I remember when we saw was it a. I can't remember which one it was, but it was it was definitely something along the line. It might have been Avengers, I can't, or Civil War. Maybe okay. it was. I don't remember what well, one of those. But I it, remember but they went nuts. Infinity War being shown at Comic Con. Oh, I wasn't there, and all I kept hearing was Thanos threw a moon at Tony Stark or whatever mm-hmm. it was, and I'm like, I want to see that that <laughs> footage. And then so I missed it at Comic Con, and then I heard they played it again at D23. Right. So uh, they replay it. So th- it's August of this year. D23. So, is. D23. So. Marvel might be doing both yeah. again yeah. because now there's precedent that, that they did it before. Why not assume they're going to do it again? Speaking of trailers, do you guys have a favorite all-time trailer? Mm, that's hard. All or, time. Or, or up there? Like you know what trailer is really good but the movie stinks to high heaven mm. is uh, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a good trailer. The trailer Dang. is they use Hans Zimmer's music they, from that Thin, Thin Red, Red Line. Line yeah. And mm-hmm. it's I remember, see, remember seeing that and just being so hyped for it because, yeah. of, again, big World War II Um you know, a historic fan, fan, and as it's those planes are coming over, and they're the music is playing. The imagery with the, they don't with the mention music. any any love triangle no. in that trailer, <laughs> uh, and then the whole thing went to shit. That's a bad movie. Yeah. That's yeah. horrible. I, I can't believe that you've subjected me to Pearl Harbor on this beautiful day. I know. I know. On, on D Day. But you know what? If it wasn't for that movie, we wouldn't have one of the best songs ever in a movie in Team America. That's true. That's, That's a good where that song. Came from? That's a great song. Yeah, because Pearl Harbor sucks, oh, right. and right. I miss you. Right. Yeah. It's right. so right. good. Right. It's a good movie. Uh, yeah. uh, all-time trailer. I, a lot aren't sticking out of my brain. Uh, Black Panther did something special to me, but there was yeah. um, the thing that I always hear in my mind. I can't see the whole trailer, but it's uh, Tom Hardy in Inception. Uh-huh. You must think bigger, darling, or you must oh, yeah, think yeah, bigger, yeah, darling, yeah, and yeah. then pulling out the grenade launcher. That every time I'm like. What is this movie? Yeah. Yeah, right. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, that's a good one. What about you, Mark? Yeah, it's it. It might be. It, everybody says this if you're a Star Wars fan. Phantom Menace, the first trailer. Mm, that was the double lightsaber. That was, yeah, that's that's another. still to this day. Oh, that's a good uh, one. I mean, I remember just truly bonding with my roommates when that thing came out because it was. We taped it yeah. on VHS. Yeah. Is that how long ago it was? <laughs> yeah. And it was a news thing. And then, like, I remember just having friends over to watch it. D- drinks were flowing. There was, I believe, there was a joint being passed around, and we were w- we watched this thing, and I'll never forget that. 
you know, every saga has a beginning. Yeah. And just that the first time you see the Gungans coming through yeah. the, the marsh and you hear the... Yeah. Nah, 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 and I'm like... Eh, 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 eh. And then, like, the Obi-Wan fight, they showed a little bit of the choreography and assured the double-bladed lightsaber. That thing was... One of the greatest trailers I've seen. Cody, do you have Did that soundbite now? Because I I'll want that, that to be yeah. Mark Riley's yeah. O sound. Okay. Um, <laughs> so Jump prob- old face. <laughs> probably oh. uh, Watchmen, because Watchmen was a good. Oh, one. Was because good it was they, the one that has the Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, the end is the beginning of the end movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I mean. <laughs> Whatever you think of Zack Snyder movies, his trailers are so cool. Man of Steel too, mm-hmm. but Watchmen for me was just cool because I, I saw trailer. all these characters that I read, you know, in the comic book, and I was like, this movie looks amazing. Right. And it just, oh, like that, like like the beat to the music to like when they they have the flag, and then you see the actual beginning of the movie, and it's yeah. so perfect. But anyways, yeah. um, all right. So those are our favorite trailers. What about what do you got as far as anything, anything else as far as news goes? Or is that news everything? News is big kind of uh, slow today? that's it's it's been a little slow. Let me just check Collider.com okay. see if anything's broken. Uh, well, we got some box art for uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That's neat. Wait, I have a question. Do you guys did you guys like Dark Phoenix or no? No. So here, <laughs> I didn't get a, I, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to give my review yeah. yesterday. Um, I I think it's a hollow movie. I, oh, that's I a great way to describe it. I don't think it's a bad movie. I just that's think it's hollow. It's just I I saw the movie and and like you know and I was telling Riley this in Apocalypse, which you know a lot of people don't like. I didn't mind Apocalypse, but mm. I think everyone is on the same page that the best part of Apocalypse is that scene in the woods with Magneto. Yeah, oh yeah. Mm. I it's mean, the most emotional. He's the best part of the whole thing. He is, and he's 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 under he's underused, and he has nothing to. To do in this movie when he's in it he's fine he's, he's great he's but, so good sure. yeah but he just doesn't have anything emotionally none, none of the stuff that they wanted you to really get emotionally attached to worked well that's what mm-hmm. i was going to say is without giving anything away how, considering gene was really only an apocalypse mm-hmm. beforehand we mm-hmm. don't really get an emotional connection to her to have this whole movie center around her so every time i'm supposed to be like oh no gene i'm like okay right. like i i guess i care because i like the x-men yeah. But I don't care in terms of what I've seen throughout this saga of the movie. So that was the thing that I think really killed it for yeah. me is I was just like, I No don't, attachment. None. Yeah. That, that, that was a lot. Of it. Plus the fact, like I said, I had a 20-minute fire alarm going off watching it. So yeah. I, I heard about that. No. I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm seeing it Friday. Okay. But is it better than Last Hand? <laughs> Uh, well, so, so, here's, okay, so here's the thing that's, that's interesting. I, care about. I don't know if y'all saw that apparently it has the lowest score of any X-Men movie on really? Rotten Tomatoes right now. Even lower than Last Stand and X-Men Origins. Wow. See, that's why it, that's dumb. Yeah, I, that's I, dumb. I hear you. Yeah. I understand. Like that's, and because and, and, here's the thing. Also, as much as like you guys I know are big fans and wanted to see it with an open mind, I think a lot of people were already waiting to hate it. As I mean, well. that's yeah. true. So, that's so true. you do get that the, yeah, well, the, the percentage. The, the train of thought going in was like, how bad do you think this is going to be? A lot yeah. of people said that when we yeah. were doing it. But the other thing to, because I'll probably score it, I haven't scored it yet, I'll probably score it like 2.5 or 2.75 out of 5. That's a rotten review. Yeah. So, and I don't hate it. Yeah. I just think, but it but it adds to the score. But you it, like it more than last stand. I do. Yeah. I do. That's But that's that's the thing with, with the score. When you look at it as far as it being the lowest score, because I understand that a lot of people are, it's not a fresh movie. It's not a, it's not a 3 out of 5. It really right. isn't. Mm-hmm. It's just not. And so when it comes to that, but I also think that, those other movies are are under the three as well. Right. Um, so and well, not all balanced. I, I really wish that I could have seen what their original ending was because I know that their whole thing was space, right? Right, and yeah. I, they clearly they, they never said what movie, but it's clear that Captain Marvel. They were concerned of being too similar to Captain yeah. Marvel. Don't even worry about that. I just want to yeah. see what you wanted yeah. to do with it because the final fight scene is fine. But oh. I, that would have been so much cooler. Yeah. In my also, opinion. who cares if it's like Captain Marvel? It's like you're still doing just do the Dark Phoenix story, exactly. which some of it does take place in space. Exactly. Like, who cares? Like so, that, that makes no sense. Are we going to get the MCU sooner or later doing a Dark Phoenix saga? Probably not, because they've done it twice. Twice I now. I think you leave it out. alone. This was this was the last hurrah for the X Men that we knew through yeah. Fox, and they're gonna it's this they're gonna they're gonna completely reboot it and go in different ways different for sure. actors yeah. I hope it they... just makes me sad for the because the cast is so good and like I, I love Days of Future Past me too I, I really too. really I like that too. movie so uh, yeah. that could what have been the ending I was just going to say if they're going to do it I hope that they just do Avengers versus X-Men which the whole part about that is the Phoenix coming back right. into hope so that would be dope if you're going to if you're going to bring the Phoenix back into it and you finally have the X-Men back then why not since they missed the Civil War right. like, actually do like a big 
mashup like that feel like that'd be pretty cool that's good it'd be interesting for sure so you don't um, think they would use any of the same actors no mm-hmm. they're gonna reboot sadly yeah. contracts and all sorts of stuff they would probably demand more yeah, yeah. you could sign someone to yeah. a three picture deal like right off the top for someone yeah. brand new for to get, to get as like Wolverine and, and Magneto and everybody too and it's like I think they'll probably portray Magneto a little bit more evil this time around um yeah, that was the only other thing that was interesting. I, I do like that he's always been more anti-hero than me villain. Too. Me but, too. But, me too. But I think they're going to go villain with him, even though I, I don't think that they should. I just think they're going to go more villain with him. I hope. Time. I don't know. He's he's actually my favorite uh, Marvel villain because mm-hmm. like he's like that's I exactly agree. what he is an anti-hero, and I usually sometimes agree with him more than Professor X. But well, um, I thought in first class, and I've said this kind of a few different times, like that. The reason I responded to first class so much is it's always. To me, that was the Anakin and Obi Wan story I never mm-hmm. got to see. Mm-hmm. Like it was like there, there, like you saw them kind of really like that. Of and he was a good friend. Mm-hmm. I saw that with Magneto and, and Professor X inside of First Class. Like even yes. in that short time that that they set it up. By, so by the time that the turn came at the end, it was like heartbreaking. That's literally my favorite part of the X Men saga is Charles and Eric's yeah. relationship. Oh, yeah. You know, and and how they're both trying to figure out. Okay, so we have these, you know. The, these things or these powers that make us more powerful than humans. So should we help these humans, or because some of them are trying to, you know, uh, terminate us, or or they don't want us, you know, should we really help them? Like it, it's it's a really interesting philosophical question that I think is what makes the the X Men series so good. Yeah. No, and I, I just wish that that's what the movie's focuses were. Yeah, yeah. and I wonder how they're going to do it, how they're going to bring them into the MCU. I always say House of M. Yeah. Like you have Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Already, um, yeah. you know, and she can do something that I I thought could introduce mutants into the MCU in an organic way, but that mm-hmm. does go back a, a little bit. Then you can't undo it because uh, you undo the mutants, but well, using the premise of House of M. Well, I was completely wrong in that. I thought that the. the I thought it was beautiful they didn't do a post credit scene, but I thought we might get something where because you had two snapping events happening on like two cosmic events happening on Earth with the the gems, I guess technically three. That's that yeah. maybe it set off some sort of chain reaction where all of a sudden the X gene is activated on Earth or something. But I wonder if they'll do that too. Yeah, they, multiverse they is being introduced. I don't know. We it. talked yeah. a little bit about that yesterday. Yeah. But I have a question. Are we is there are they still making a Doctor Doom movie with Noah Hawley? No, I don't think so anymore. Damn it. I don't know. I don't Unless bad. they're carrying him over to so. Disney. But from yeah. what I heard, oh, it, yeah, that it makes me sad because I love that he that guy is so talented. But I'd say it's probably well as far as he goes, I don't know. But I I would say the the character itself never say never. I think that they're probably going to do was it X Men first and then Fantastic Four. You think Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four first? Probably just because Fantastic Four get it right. is so dead. <laughs> yeah, and they want to yeah. get it right. Yeah. That first. Yeah. yeah, because they want it because they they can do it to where they come in. And it's like it's like the first. I didn't mind the first Spider Man with. Uh, Andrew Garfield. Garfield, I liked it, um, and then after the second one, then it's, then once MCU and Sony join together, then then it's back. Now Spider Man's back in, in full force, right? Here's my question: yeah. someone someone was telling me they only signed a six deal crossover, right? So is it true that they're going to potentially take this back now? Is that the question? Pitch, is it six pitcher deal or is it six character appearance deals? Maybe yeah. it was character. I'm not. I'm not sure. Well, but I thought it, that they were able to use Spider-Man essentially for the six films. Which I think this you're would be right. the last one. Yep. I or think, no, they have well, one more. No, I think more. it was a Spider-Man trilogy. So we'll have Far From Home now as the and second, else. and then the third Captain movie. America and two Avengers, and then yeah, Civil War <laughs> and two Avengers. Oh, see. that would bum me out. I really hope that they don't. Like, I hope Sony sees the force from the trees and goes, "Hey, this is actually pretty profitable yeah. for everybody. Like, yeah. let you keep can it going. keep doing it. Right. Like, we'll just use him from time to time in like Spider Verse or other stuff. But like, depends. Uh, yeah. it, well, the, the structure, the power structure has changed there. Um, and I think initially when the deal was made, Amy Pascal was in charge. She's mm-hmm. no longer in charge anymore. So, and I don't know as far as who is. What his relationship is with Feige? Maybe it is yeah, yeah. that particular with there's a renegotiation, or maybe it's like no, no, no. You know what? I, on my reign, I want to do this on my watch. Let's let's do it. So yeah, happens, I, I wish so. um, Sony Animation could make a bunch of comic book movies, not just Spider Man. Right? Like, yeah. Could you imagine if they made a Fantastic Four or like a, a yeah. Spider Verse, something like that? Like that would be great. I'm yeah. kind of sad that they don't have. The yeah, movie. they only have Spider Man, mm-hmm. so they'll keep doing Spider Verse, but. Um, yeah, with with Spider Man to your point, Wednesday, I hope if I don't see in the MCU 
Reed Richards and Peter Parker hanging out. Oh my God! You yeah. know uh, that's that that just is some good stuff that I think there's so much there right. you could or, you could mine. Or even like an Avengers, uh, with, Avengers with, with Reed Richards well, in, well, in the but, Fantastic. But you, and give, Wolverine. Give me, give me Wolverine yeah. thing, Spider Man, and Deadpool being an asshole, like all yeah. hanging out together. Like that's all I've wanted this entire time. We and are probably going to see Deadpool at some point. Sure, I, I agree with that. Yeah. But like, if they take Spidey away in this process, then you you. Uh, and, and we can Deadpool get to and the Spider-Man point. together. Yeah. Once you get once you get uh, the mutants in there in Fantastic Four, we can do Illuminati. Yep. You can have Doctor Strange, Reed Richards, uh, Professor X. But you gonna go revive the Inhumans? Which yeah, I, they got them. <laughs> they got them. They, they're there. Maybe not. So keep the Inhumans out of it, and then and then uh, and then launch Hulk into space. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey Riley, have you looked at that Facebook group? What's going on with the there's, giveaway? There's. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to read. These are they're awesome. really good. They got a lot of good ones. A lot so of good ones. Just a reminder ones. to the Facebook group that if you go and you submit a story about your your pops coming up to Father's Day is is coming up. Let me see that listing around. Yeah. So this is in the giveaway. This is what you will get. It's the Godfather trilogy, the Corleone legacy, uh, Forrest Gump 25th anniversary, Jack Ryan season one, the Mission Impossible six movie collection, Bumblebee and Transformers collection, and Saving Private Ryan in 4K. So, wow. Yeah, it's pretty Damn. pretty solid. Wow. Solid Half of that could be the Darina collection. I know. So all you got to do is um, is write a cool story about your pops, and and Riley will uh, will check it out. And then you this can is save yourself the fifteen dollars. You're just gonna buy him black socks at Ross, and he's not look like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can look like you a know hero. what? Yeah. I needed to get something from my dad. <laughs> Good call. And now you got it. Good call. You know what? My dad gave me a Christmas present once, and I and he handed it to me, and there was a sticker on it. It was a post-it, and it said "Mark socks," and I went. Hey, Dad, thanks for the socks. He went, you didn't even open it. And I pulled out the post-it. So you know what? Payback's a bitch. Yes, yeah, so you're going to get him that. <laughs> so, uh, He's getting freaking socks. Get him he used, raised used socks. you. I know. Get him used he, socks. Well, I'm, I'm also going to get him Ken's book. Okay. Oh, nice. He's enough. a huge Star Wars fan, too. See, no, that's, that's cool. I, yeah, yeah. I feel like and I mean, socks. It, to, cause you, socks and a book. Because you're a pop. You're a dad, aren't you? No, no, no. no, 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 no. But well, he's a, he's a puppy. I'm yeah. a puppy yeah. pop, yeah. which yeah. all you go get is probably some dog to do as, as a present, which, no, is, yeah. which, is, which is sad. But yeah. I, I always thought that was so whack that like Mother's Day, Mama got breakfast in bed and yeah. like a spa day and all this, and the pops was like, here you go, some socks, my brother. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> got you a screwdriver out your toolbox that exactly. I put a bow on. Like, I, <laughs> Although like, to be fair, his vagina didn't rip when he I gave mean, birth. You're exactly right. That, right. You're saying. exactly right. Put in the work a little bit, a little, a little hard. I, I get that. Yeah. I, I totally get. In that case, let's just cancel Father's Day no. in general. No. No, <laughs> there are some good single fathers out I know there. What I, say. I know what well, well, I say. Like, but you're not wrong. Like, the, the, the Mother's Day is always, I, I make sure that the shit's going down for, for Mother's Day with my wife. You know, make sure that right. everybody's is good and she, she's excited about Mother's Day and having a good time, good brunch. And so we did. Um, and then she, she is, she, what do you want to do for Father's Day? Like, I, I don't Give me a pizza. You know, you know, <laughs> That's the, fair. I, I, but what would be your perfect Father's Day? Um, you know, probably just gonna. Eat. I, I love seafood. Like seafood's my is my favorite. So just somewhere where I can hang out with the kids and uh, and 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 the wife and and just kind of have a nice meal. And that's all I really need. That's all I'm asking for. Just good food and family. Next, next, yeah. next Father's Day, just take me to Wonder Woman 1984. That's all you need. I don't have a kid, by the way. Let me, let me clarify <laughs> this right maybe, now. Maybe, maybe, maybe by, by then next you will. Father's Hell Day. Hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. My girlfriend and I literally walk around. Whenever baby talk comes, we go, nah, hashtag no babies. No, <laughs> right. Absolutely. <laughs> Later, not yeah. now. I mean, you guys right. are being safe, right? Exactly. There you go. Yeah. 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 You're fine. <laughs> yeah. We'll see it till next year when Wonder Woman comes out. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're being safe. They're going to see horror films. So that way, yeah. There you go. No, he's just—he's crying in a corner. Like, Honey, she's, like, no. she's, she's like, I'm what you look at you. Right. There was that article that came out. The horror movies, if you go together, they make you horny. Is that true? I heard. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm doing producer stuff. Yeah. How does that, that just yeah. caught my? Mark's like, that's never happened to me. <laughs> so what are you talking about? <laughs> Well, Julie doesn't like horror movies, right? Oh, she loves horror movies. Well, fuck See, horror there you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. It makes her horny. It makes <laughs> yeah. her horny. I don't know. How about horny? Did you but... get somebody? Did I get somebody? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm looking, and there's a lot of good stuff, but I have to ask a question to the rep. Sure. So that's what I'm doing right now, oh, just okay. before I can do it. Before you give it away. Yeah. Okay. 
I see. Yeah. Um, what comes out this weekend besides? I know it's it's Dark uh, Phoenix. Have you guys Dark seen Booksmart yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, go see it. See it. We're gonna go see that this weekend. Yeah. You uh, along it with Dark Phoenix. I gotta go see Bright Burn today. I gotta work in Anaheim, but as soon as we finish, I gotta see because it's already being pulled from a lot of the. Is it? A lot oh, of I gotta the, see oh, wow. it before I come. It'll, before I mean, it'll still play somewhere, but like uh, the, the sixteen is getting rid of it. I don't want to drive like an hour to go see it. How much? How much is Cody? Can you check how much Bright Burn is making? Because when when Dave was in here, it would have made it was up like twenty six. So I wonder how much worldwide it's done. It's only cost six. Did you see six. it? Did I you, haven't seen it yet. No. You didn't um, see it, Mark? Right, uh, no. I have not seen so it yet. So overall, see it. it's made twenty-five. I thought it was twenty-six, but twenty-five it's made, and we'll see what what happens this particular weekend. But uh, fifteen million on a four million dollar budget. It's you know that's a, that's a, that's you can understand that's why he's uh, he's doing. He's doing. He's getting a lot of meetings. He's yeah, doing, I, I like really want to see that. I also want to see uh, the lodge. I heard is Which really good. Launch? It's a new. It's a new horror movie that oh, okay. I think was released for Sundance and it's coming out in a couple months. What's that? That movie? trailer looks crazy. I know. What's, is that the Brad Pitt one? No, no. no Ad Astra. Movie? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that dropped yesterday. And uh, did you see it? Yeah, because it. We the, talked the about Brad it Pitt, yesterday. I saw that, yeah. And it was, um, you know, it reminded me of Interstellar. It reminded me yeah. of a lot of things. I liked the idea of the story, and um, but the trailer was like, yeah, it was kind of, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. it was good, but it wasn't, it yeah. didn't blow me is away. Is it like de aging? Is it, is it de aging? No, no, no. It's uh, so Brad Pitt, his father Tommy Lee Jones goes into space. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some reason, it disappears, yeah. and then you know, like 15 years later, they get either a, a, a signal or something, so he's got to go find his dad. Okay. Mm-hmm. When's that, speaking of the aging, when's that Will Smith Angley movie come out? Oh, I thought you were going to bring up I the Scorsese th- one. <laughs> no, that's that that also one too. Another one. Yeah, I thought it was somewhere. like October. It's October, because I thought, it, did it get pushed back? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. I'm October sure. 11th, October 2019. 11th. That, I mean, that was that's some of the as far as trailers go. That's some of the best aging shit I've seen. Why is it that I'm good at movie release dates with stuff that's not even out yet? Right, but right, <laughs> <laughs> right. And you get, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Uh, I was barely alive. I want to say 88, wasn't it? 90. 90. It was 90? Was I was going to say 90. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. I'm always usually That was the second one. That was Ooze. Secret of the Ooze. Ooze. Which was what year? 91 or 2. Two. Okay. I think 92. Two. Might even be 93. But um, but yeah, because that was it was right as the downfall of Vanilla Ice began to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, when, super, when, he was super hot from like ninety to like ninety two. Yeah, and that was like his last hurrah was popping up in the Ninja Turtles movie. It but, was all that. All right, like, stop. Yeah, yeah. come oh, now, yeah. listen. Well, because yeah, yeah. remember, it was it wasn't a sample of Under Pressure because his he was got sued for it. I know because yeah. he was like, no, it's like da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> like that was right. his explanation. Yeah. 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 Mine was da 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 da. Do you, yeah. It's, yeah. And that whole era too, like, do you guys remember? Like, I love the Adams Family movies, yeah. but every movie uh, made in the early '90s would end would have an end credit song that was like MC Hammer all right. of a sudden. Right. You oh. know, like that. Yeah. Really, oh, that's like, the best. They do what they want to do. Say what they want to say. Uh-huh. Adams, Adam's Family. family. Yeah. That was the yeah, yeah, best yeah, yeah. part of the first Ninja Turtles. Was T U R T S. That's Ethan Irwin's theme song when he walks out to the So good. I don't blame. Oh, that's his theme song. That's so funny. It was. I mean, that was really fun to hear in New York like to you RTLE power <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was, it was good it was good but um, yeah anyway guys so we're, we're here it's uh, myself and Darina and Winston and Riley and Mr. Cody Hall and we're just kind of shooting the shit today about um, a bunch of different things but we have this giveaway and Riley did you find out any information yet or not yet I did and what do we do yeah we're, we can send to Canada Okay. Is what I wanted to find out because um, this is an amazing story. Tell us. Ooh. Um, Christopher Wynn. Uh, okay. Growing up, my father always had a video camera with him, always documenting our family. He always wanted to keep memories of his family to show friends and to watch when he was older. Unfortunately, he lost his memory uh, as he was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease at 57. Oof. After he was diagnosed, I helped look after him along with my mother, and I decided to pick up the camera and continue to document our family and his disease. I filmed him for the last six years of his life. He passed away at 65. Uh, I decided to take the footage and create a feature documentary called Forgetful Not Forgotten that screened on TV in Canada. I was able to take his passion and create a tribute to him by creating a film about him, but also being able to educate people about Alzheimer's and caregiving. This also helped me become a filmmaker and advocate for the fight against Alzheimer's. Even dealing with this difficult disease, my father helped me have a passion for filmmaking, and through all this footage I have of him, I am helping others. If you have 30 minutes, please watch. I'm going to watch this. because wow. this is um, That's crazy. I, I played a little bit of this um, here and just kind of got in but this – Something about this really hit me. Yeah. I lost my grandfather to Alzheimer's. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. I and, wanted and to and cry. Give me, and give me the name again. I'm sorry. 
It's uh, Christopher Wynn. Christopher Wynn. So Christopher Wynn wins. You win. He wins the story. Yeah, he Christopher wins. You win. And I want to shout out to everybody. Yeah. Um, so open I read. Uh, I've been reading all your stories. Are beautiful. Um, I think that this one is just it really hit, and uh, I love how he used this pain to do something positive right. because mm-hmm. Alzheimer's is. As I mentioned with my grandfather, a very special place in my heart for for that research and for and for doing something right. about it. It's, it's, it's an awful hard. disease it's out so there. Hard, yeah. Yeah. And um, Chris, thank you for sharing the story and for picking up a camera and, and continuing your father's legacy and awesome. having this. I will watch your film. This That's looks great. amazing. So I, really I will cool. contact you. Well, congratulations to uh, to Chris for that one. And I think you know we'll call it an early day today. I'd like okay. to thank uh, Dorina for. Uh, Coming in, obviously. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And we have Seth Green on the show tomorrow. Seth Green so is on tomorrow. Yeah. And Winston Marshall, thanks for joining us, man. We'll hey, have you back sooner than later again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sounds good to me, man. Awesome. And then yeah. Mark Yodius of Riley's and yes, Cody sir. Hall. Uh, make sure you get those tickets to SchmodownLive.com. And you can see the collision on the 22nd. You can see Rachel Cushing defend at Comic-Con. And then New York is August 31st. So thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.